I'm down to just jump into this. Let's see here. Boom, boom, boom. Hold up, etc. Boom, boom. How's the audio? Too loud, too quiet. We good? Audio is optimal. <laughs> Feels good? You guys chilling? Oh, yep. OS. <laughs> what is that hoodie? Oh, my God. And the hat. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So round one. Uh, oh my God, that T-shirt is gonna explode. That shirt is gonna explode off Tasty Steve any second. I can tell that the buttons, the top two buttons, are only not buttoned because they're gonna explode off of them. To that victory. We're going to take a look at the replay really quick just so we can get another peek at that offense. Sick. This is good because we missed the first game. So, Squish versus Spinach. Spinach is, uh, yeah, I was watching this first, um, what's it called? Match in the background as we were firing up the stream. This is pretty close, actually. The Pillarman theme is going to play when it explodes off of them. Yeah, that would be tight. And you could tell, like, Squish was taking full advantage of that, right? He was like, you know what? I know that you need to get started. This is all about setups. So you saw the fact that Spinach was over. Round one was so Chicago to LA. Chicago won 2 1. Yeah, who won for um, Chicago? My guess is uh, Tekken and um, Street Fighter. Calling his shots when it comes to the mix up that Spinach, spinach uh, presented, right? He opts to use that uppercut to break through and then so Seattle, Min back Minneapolis. Back. So next is Minneapolis, Chicago. Tag it in Street Fighter. Damn, I'm good. Okay, cool. All right, here we go. We're going into this next set. Eunice already done when it comes to the group, but we're going How do you earn more or less? Uh, <laughs> shut up, Esteban. To be honest with you, Esteban, I made a read. I was like, you know, they're probably not going to start. Um, they're probably not going to start until like, uh, I don't even know, like, you know, 20, 30 minutes into them to get the matches going or whatever. They started like way faster than I expected. I was like, oh shit. Uh, right. Bone apple tea. What up, Trinity? Yeah, these are cool. They were experimenting with these last year. Um, the thing about these ARs, things that they were messing with is that they were like harder to do in like a mobile environment i think like it's easier for them to just do them in their studio this is red bull conquest finals right now this is this is live i was there for the conversation i was legitimately like yo you're really about to do this huh? he's like yeah I <laughs> and then we have a uh, two-time champ mojo damn vicious is playing and commentating he's hella good yeah mojo samurai this is a good match Place to play, by the way. Yeah, Mojo, no great spring spring Both of them, obviously, in uh, SFL as well. That, that combo hurts. And it's great corner carry. Well, you know, it was great corner carry until he backdashed, got the throw, baited him. Yeah, one more for stun. Damn. I think he's dead. Bing, bang, bang. You know what? <laughs> That's a rough start. That's a rough first round. What's going on? Kiwi That's a rough first round. It happens like that. Is the Red Bull stream choppy? I'm not sure. Yeah, we worked around the ARR scoreboard. They always play the same order. Yeah. Oh, dude, KI is tight. Yeah. The best team? Um, I don't know. That's a good question. I think this team is very good. The Seattle team? He likes to rock it a lot more now. That Samurai is. Kind of guessing you miss Eunice? Well, don't worry. It'll come back around. Just give it like 30 seconds. You got to play two out of three Street Fighter, two out of three Tekken, two out of three Eunice. Hmm. What is definitely choppy? Is it your stream or my stream, are you saying? Uh, what? I can't believe that word. I would have woke up button if I was Mojo, too. Yeah, he tried instant overhead. Let's jump jab. 50-50. EX Giant Swing would have dizzied right there. This should be dizzy anyway. Well, now that combo. 
Yeah, meaty fears. That was pretty good. Despite double teleport, he just died. That was a good fit. tap drop kick. That was one of those ones where it looked like it was for sure the regular one. Yeah, Meaty Fierce is a good idea because he has a uh, Nadeshko activation, so he doesn't give a fuck. Wow. Yeah, it was going to be Fierce, Nadeshko, Command Throw, like whatever, you know, the situation was pretty much dead anyway. Side switch. He thought that was a counter hit confirm when the jab hit. It was uh, just regular hit. So, dash under. No, uh, just clap back to the corner. Wow, no. Co he didn't take the corner either. Uh, EX uppercut again. That hurts. Do it, Samurai. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> That wasn't the cleanest handshake I've ever seen. Wow, they get these fucking thermoses too? That he can't figure out how to screw on? Man, what the fuck? I'm mad jealous. Why do they get these sick ass thermoses? To be honest with you, I think Mojo shook the hand of Trungi and then Spinach was like, handshake? But what if I didn't? Vicious needs to focus more on playing and less on commentary. I agree. His Akuma got smoked. Come on, Vicious. Hold, hold it together. Samurai is just his his stage name, you know? That was nice. Oh, well, he at least got the side switch. He didn't really, like... Um, he didn't really get a real meaty there, but that's probably not the end of the world. Samurai is from NorCal, but he didn't win the NorCal qualifier. The NorCal qualifier was a nephew who beat him in grand finals, if I remember correctly. So he went to Seattle and won the Seattle event. Yeah, he's carpet bagging. It tells you when it comes to his fireball spacing, right? How he his fireballs. Has it down to an arm. That could have been a big push. Honestly. How did he even back that shadow back? Mm -hmm. I have no idea. You know, the only problem with this is despite all the damage Samurai's done, he's lost the corner. Wow, that was fucked up. <gasps> Nadeshko, you son of a bitch, you botched it. You botched the. Oh, over, 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 over. That was a botch if I've ever seen one. That sucks. The, the neutral splash ended up messing up the uh, clap back to the corner. So Mojo lost the corner and lost the mix up, really. That sucks. What doesn't suck is Deros dropping the big three months. Thanks very much. Yeah, Squish is also not from Seattle, but won the Seattle Conquest qualifier. Yeah, your own teammate gets you murked. That's what that was. Yeah, this is live for people asking. This is live in um, uh, Santa Monica and SoCal. No meter on defense. And also no meter to thank Filthy Cabin, who dropped the big four months with Twitch Prime. Thanks very much. Do a regular throw. Yeah. <laughs> Samurai should also regular throw. Oh, what? That looks like an accident. Wingless doesn't kill. That happens. Is it a private event? I'm actually not sure. Yeah, their stream is set to Tekken. My stream is set to Street Fighter, I think. Well, it's because when I turned it on, Street Fighter was next. I don't know if I should... I don't think I should switch it every set. That's like a lot of work. I think I should just set it to one category and then stream on that the whole time. That was good punish. Yeah, that was good knowledge too that the setup wasn't real. He could wake up with a button. There's a lot of setups like that. Set it to Eunice. Yeah, they set it to Tekken. I'm set it to Street Fighter now. Maybe I should switch to Eunice later to cover everything. <laughs> Samurai dies in one hit, actually. Yeah, if that DP was blocked, he was dead. Super fucking meaty. He doesn't have meter for Demon, but he's pretty close. Oh, yeah. Oh, wake up, clap. Reversal Demon, do it. Oh, he's. I think he's dead. Oh, 
That shit was hard. You know, my favorite part about this is seeing like the Tekken and the Eunice player just chilling in the background. Like, holy shit, that looks stressful. I definitely knew that was gonna kill. I definitely knew that was gonna kill. Somebody CC Mojo in the email because he didn't know it was gonna kill either. He's like, dude, that's a lot You don't know, they, they buffed that bad boy at season three. That is, uh. That shit hurts, bro. It does a million damage. I still play around. I just don't get the player. If you have like less than a quarter of your life, you're probably dead. Beat up with Alex. Anyways, um. We have a replay from that six What's good, everybody? So from what I understand about the um, match and their strategy is it's always the same order during this phase. The qualifier phase tomorrow, it can change. But in this phase, it's always the same order. And the way it works is it starts on Street Fighter, then they jump to another setup and they play Tekken. Then during that time, they switch the other setup that was on Street Fighter back to Eunice. So that's the plan. Hey, program. Is there a bracket link? They had it on the stream. I think they sent it to me. I could probably pull it up. Jimmy is screaming at someone right now. He's probably beating Kyobi. Is it? And you saw the star, the we, you know, like on your side. Possibly. Well, guys, without any further, there's a bracket. Tekken will be coming up next. Yeah. Like so it's one apiece, Seattle, Minneapolis. It, Minneapolis. it comes down. Uh, it comes down to the last the the match, correct? And Squish won the first game, so now one one in the set. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, is that the order? Is it Eunice, Street Fighter, Tekken? Did I mess up? Yeah, uh, faltering to Squish against Seattle, and then Samurai. That's what it is, right? Now we have Eddie Boyman up on deck versus Eddie Boyman. BM. Okay, so I slightly missed the order up. My bad. That's the order. So it's the same order the whole day, for those of you guys who are wondering. They got all of us girlfriends at the hotel. No spectating and no spectating for Lightning Rider, who dropped the big two months. Wait, why are you at the hotel with no spectating? Um, run a black. Why are, are you supposed to be there? Is Eunice over? No. The format goes like this. Every match will be Street Fighter, Eunice, and Tekken played between all three teams. Every match will have all three games. So, you get to watch all three games at once. Every set is all three. So, this is Tekken now. Trungi versus Eddie Boy Mang. It's going to be, yeah, Geese versus Eddie. Trungi plays a few different characters. He also plays Gonzo the Sog Puppet, who came in with the big Twitch Prime. Thanks very much. They don't let the players bring their guests in. Whose guest are you? Whose girlfriend are you? Speed kicks? But also had a Steve on deck. Steve Fox, he used only one time. Your speed kicks his girlfriend here. You're his extra, his plus one. You're just stuck at the hotel. That sucks. That's how you know Trunky is All right, let's check out, check this out, and check out some baddie dropping the big Twitch Prime. Thanks very much. Yeah, that's that podcast is fun. I think. Running one. I didn't get to see the Seattle qualifier and see Eddie Boy Mang, but I think there was somebody else there that was pretty good. That I remember thinking was gonna win. Trungi is mad good, by the way. Trungi is super, super, super good. I actually expect him to put in a lot of work for this team. Yeah, I expect him to do very well, as well as Sin Sippa, who dropped the big Twitch Prime. Thanks very much. One thing that's very interesting about this format, too, is that wherever the team ends up, Seattle, Minneapolis, whoever, whatever teams are playing, uh, where they end up on left, like, you know, whether you're player one, player two, is actually quite important for the Tekken match, right? But I don't know if that's something that they thought about for the rules, you know? Gets the flow. Not the wall. Big counter hit. Ouch. As much as it hurts to think. Averin for dropping the big Twitch Prime. Thanks very much. It's Tekken, not Tech Can't. Oh, when you put it like that. I Tech Can, thank you for the sub. I think this match is uh, looking a little over. Two bar geese. Two bar geese in the last round. You're going to run into back three, too. Wow, he low countered? Yeah, five dash jabs to the wall. 
You think you're cool when you read like, you know, a GERD break? Try reading a low in Tekken. And then you parry that bad Side step three plus four. Drama 34. Ugh. I don't even know how to read normally. It's crazy how Trunk is able to do this now. Look at this. Look at the meter. Wow, I thought that was going to hit the wall. Back three two. He's got full meter. It's over. Yeah, it's super over. Good block. As good as Amarin gifting these big five subs. Thanks very much. Instead of stand up. Yeah. After he beat you up, he just tells you to stay down. Oh, who done it? But yeah, as you can see, who done it? Controllers. I don't know what happened. I do know what happened with Rezrul, who dropped the big two months. Smoking hot goose. Thanks very much. It seems like they're having some kind of controller issue. How you guys doing? What do you mean? It, oh, it's, it's just like the action. It's, it's, a, it's the step, right? It's the step of him doing yeah, like yeah, the yeah. kick in the leg. Where's my tattoo? Steve, my so I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. What does EBS trying to smoke them? It's one apiece right now. Try to yeah, I like this team format too. Are people complaining in the chat? They don't. Whoa, they don't like it. They're not a big fan. Oh, it seems like it's fine. I like this format. It's great because remember last year it was also a team-based format. However, remember that um, it was like three separate individual tournaments and they counted for team points. Instead, this is an actual team-based format with a round robin. Oh shit! They already started. Hold up. Let me get rid of my face. Infinite stage. Ah, is that the... Are they doing, like, the stage pick rules from TWT, I wonder? Probably, I would guess, right? They probably did it where it's, um... What's it called? It's probably going to be, I assume, game one, random stage. Game two, if you lose, you can pick, and then loser can pick again if there's another match. Oh, get fucking sniped. That was sick. <laughs> Yeah, Trinity. The Red Bull one last year was real crazy. They can qualify anywhere. Wherever you play in is the region you can qualify in. Sidestep left. Whiff punish into max mode. Obviously, doesn't have to worry about wall situation. God damn it, that hurt. Oh, it's over. Down forward one. Down forward one. Next is the low. <laughs> Chop the legs. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing about oh, that's hella low. He chops at your legs. Yeah, I'm a big fan of all three games too, so it's perfect for me. I like Tekken, Street Fighter, and Eunice. I'm like, sick. Back 3 2. Mm -hmm. It's actually, that was actually not probably the best use of meter, unfortunately. It wasn't really the part of the plan for Trungi, I think, but he ended up kind of just getting that weird float combo that did no damage and it cost him a bar. That sucks. It, not really, like, it's it wasn't intentional, right? He just happened to. Uh, what's it called? He just happened to get, like, a float off the back 3 2 max. Just about tied up. Side step three. He loves that He'll kill on like a down forward one one almost. Oh my god. That was actually godlike. That was actually godlike. That was sick. What the fuck? Oh, within rage mode as well. That's still gonna go towards Trungy. Yeah, he crushed the low. Yeah, Trungy's about that meter though. Okay. Side step two didn't work out nice. Nice. Oh man, we've seen a few a few drops. Makes it with punish. You know, with how chunky Geese is, too, we've seen size step 3 plus 4 be a big issue in this matchup. And to be fair, it's very good in general. It's not like it's just Geese that it's, very, it's really strong against. Yup, up, dude. I felt that in my shoulder blades. He ran up, and he did fucking down 4 like three times, and I was like, alright, it's time. Back 3-2. Oh, shit. You're dead, right? Bang, bang. Rage art. <gasps> he missed the dash. Oh, he blocked it. Oh, my God. He still got it. All right, down. Two to two, it's fine. It's fine, Steve. He didn't it's fine. Still compensated for it, tying it up here. Trungy's still at match point. We're gonna go to one one, I wow. think. I still go either way. This is gonna be one of those rounds. Yeah. It's going to one one. It's it's gonna happen. How you missed the dash? It happens, man. No, it didn't reach. That sucks. Four one plus two. Oh boy. All right, never mind. It's over. Here comes down two. Oh, he did it back three three counter hit. Oh shit. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Trungy. Trungy is actually super clutch here, I think. I don't know if a lot of people... He hasn't been playing as much on the TWT this year, but Trungy is hella fucking good. So, like, he's one of those players where, you know, he is really, really clutch at the end of your team, I think. What's the format? So, the format is like this. It's a round robin in their groups. They're going to show the uh, format or the the whatever it's called teams in a second here. I know how productions work. So they're going to show that after the replays. And the way it works is that um, each team plays a round or they play a round robin in their group. There's eight teams total, groups of four, two groups of four. And the round robin, you play the same order every time. So you play Eunice, then Street Fighter, then Tekken. Two out of three each set, and uh, it's, you know, three different sets. So you just see who wins based on that. So in this case, uh, for Minneapolis, they lost uh, Eunice, and then they won Street Fighter, and then they won Tekken. So they win 2-1 in the set. So they take it. That's how it works. Yeah, this is the missed dash. Yeah, well, this is... they In the overlays, right, they don't have the score of the team score or whatever, but they're about to show it to you after this is over, right? They're going to be like, all right, well, now that that's finished, you know, we just had that closeout. Let's take a look at the standings. I, I thought Oakland did, did uh did they get Seattle got one okay sorry right, I was Seattle, looking at yeah, the other so, side. but yeah you can see that these points are tallying up pretty fast Chicago Minneapolis leading right now so Angeles, they've had two sets so far right and both of them have been two one so I guess you get points per for winning the set but it's getting very, very integral. It's getting yeah, they cut down the amount of teams as well. So they only had two sets so far. They had Minneapolis, Seattle, and Chicago versus LA. What in the fuck is going on here? Yo, shit. Damn, Yipes, what do you got there, bro? I'm hungry. What is Punk doing off in Narnia over there? Do you see how far away? Punk is actually in a different time zone than Yipes. Yeah, and you know what's crazy is that the first time actually Spinach dealt with it really well, and then every time afterwards Squish had it on. Wait, we are losing Punk. Squishy just has a great. Now we're losing Yipes. Because that's like where Akatsuki wants to play. He wants to get you in the corner, and then he wants to. Oh shit, we're sliding over. With fireballs, wants to keep you in that sort of pressure. So that's why he. We're sliding over. Punk. That are gonna have longer reach than him. This looks cool. Go to that replay right now. Check out how Squish did his thing. Yeah, look at this. Keeps I can't get over the. Really uh, uh, this couch is huge. It's everything. it's humongous. This was the crazy thing. You knew that on blogging, you dash up, grab like that. Unbelievable. That's the thing, right? Man, you know I gotta tell you, seeing them at the same event together makes me upset. These fucking cowards. They won't put Jeremy and Sammy on the same block, will they? Oh, man. Why are you so biased against Japanese players? I love Japanese players. I'm like a huge... Have you ever heard me commentate a Nemo match? Or like a Fudo match? I love the Japanese players. I'm a big Fudo fan. Yeah, I'm a weeb. I've spent the last like two weeks talking to my anime on my channel. That double teleport was sick. Jojo! That fierce was sick. He slapped the shit out of him. They have $200 worth of beef? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's pretty real. I think that was an accident, by the way. That was a command throw. That was a command throw. That heavy kick right there. Dash under, Nadeshko boshes the splash. That shit sucked. Wingless, dash up. Yeah, Samurai was threatening the uppercut so much he was trying to like, uh, you know, go for whatever it's called. Uh, back dash or throw on wake up thinking he was going to respect the DP. I can't claim to be a weeb unless I tell you my waifu. Biakia. Easy choice. It looked like you knew this matchup really well, and we sort of expected Yeah, Trungi. Trungi is very, very good. And not only that, but, you know, his homie is uh, Spiro, right? I'm sure at tournaments, they both power up together and then probably play some games. 
Six these are highlights. These are replays from the last set. This was a one -one scenario. This was going to determine who actually got more points out of the matchup between Seattle and Minneapolis. So Trungi able to pull it out, though. Eddie Boyman did put up a great Yeah, they're replays. They usually, uh, you know, I know it's tough to tell, but if you, if you look up right here at this large portion of the screen, there is a slight giveaway. So good stuff to Team Minneapolis taking a 2 1 lead over them. Now, Punk. You've seen all four of the all right, let's chat with Punk. Are you concerned with any of these guys? Not really. Not really? Not really. No, Philadelphia you know, but got this a unlocked. team thing, so I could win Street Fighter, and yeah. it, it just doesn't matter. So. Well, that's when your coaching has to come into play. Are you going to coach your teammates? I'm going to coach Eunice. You I'm a Eunice coach. I forgot about that. Punk is pretty good at Eunice also. We play Akuma, so I'm going to give him the Street Fighter strats. There you go. Oh, yeah, that's right. Their team is actually pretty good, I think. Yeah, players don't block their feet, so I'm definitely going low all the time. The Philly team is pretty good. They have Punk, and then I think Shin Paolo is uh, the Tekken player, right? The Oakland team is very good as well. Let me let me dig through. They sent me some graphics, actually. They sent me graphics for the event. The graphics that they have, I also have. So I can just fucking show them on my... No, don't don't link me their graphics. Hold up. Let me... I'll download my own graphics. And I'll show them on my stream. I don't need... Oh, see, we got a five-minute break. Shit. This is a good time for me to download this. I've got graphics now. So this is how it works. There's group A and group B. Each round... Teams play best of three per game title. Okay, so that's a two out of three. And the order is always like this. It's always down here. It goes Eunice, then Street Fighter, then Tekken. Both groups are playing today. I believe that is correct, yes. Top two teams from each group advance into the semis. So the way it works is uh, whatever the top two team are, teams are, let's just say to make this easy, let's just say it's Chicago and LA and Orlando and Oakland because they're just at the top. They would move on, and then they would play in the next section. So the way it works is you would split them. So, like, L.A. would play Orlando or Oakland, and Oakland or, you know, the, the top two seeds would switch. So, like, number one seed, let's say the number one seed, let's just say it's one and two, and then one and two, just to make it easy. So number one seed from group A would play number two seed from group B, and vice versa. You see what I'm saying? So Los Angeles would play Oakland, Orlando would play Chicago, in the semis and then after that uh, you'd have the third place match between the two teams that lose and then you would have the grand finals match to see what team wins that's how it works they also have a different format for determining who goes what team order it is during the semis so in the semis they're going to do a coin flip and one team the team that wins gets to pick the last game and then i think the team that loses gets to pick the um what's it called the first game and then whatever game is not picked is obviously in the middle that's how it works boom i got it figured out so now you guys know the format so anytime somebody asks i can show it on stream the players in the seattle team are actually from seattle no you can go to any qualifier and play wherever you like uh so you know how samurai is on team seattle it's because nephew down here he went to new norcal for the oakland qualifier and beat him and so because he beat him, um, Samurai went to Seattle and played and qualified there. So that's what ended up happening. Punk is on Team Philly. He's from Philly. Hey, it's Jeremy. Grabbing a Red Bull. These fucking dweebs down here. I like this camera shot. Is Nephew not NorCal? I think he is, actually. I think Nephew lives up in, or he moved to NorCal. Do I have the rosters? So they were they tweeted the rosters, right? I have a document they sent me that has the rosters in it, but it's like a PDF. So I don't think I can just like save it onto my screen as easy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me see. Let me see what happens when I do this. Let me let me try something real quick. I have no idea what's gonna happen if I do this. Nothing. Okay, well that was worth a shot. Here's a roster image that Hi-Fi tweeted out. 
Ah, I see. Uh, okay. So this is that, and then there's also the Smash GG page that has. Does this also? This also has all the players that qualified, right? Oh, this has the results too. That's great. So this is the current roster for each team. It's got high fight has it listed out. So Orlando is Anakin, Terrence, Otashi, for instance, and it's got each game and this is all a game. So I will keep this, this image handy for those of you guys who want to see it. I'll keep this handy in another tab. Keep it over here. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this AR shit. We got to do this last year. I'm covering Yipes' face. Great old matches. And I just want to look at the scoreboard real quick. I would like to call this the Wheel of Misfortune. Yes. Let's see exactly what's been going on here. Obviously, at Group A, you see... Yeah, this is the results for the group so far. They play around Robin. Now we're moving on. A bit to the Group B side of people that haven't got to know... What do you think happens when someone walks through it? I've walked through it before. What's going on next? Yeah, my man confirmed it with me. That's what's up. So I think we're ready to send this over to yeah, the I'm casters, yipes. correct? So we can see some of this action. Okay, casters, take it away. I want to know who's behind it. So. Yo, what is good, yipes? What's good, everybody? As good as Bobo dropping the big Hondo. Thanks very much. We're gonna continue on with that. It looks like I'm there. I am there. Look, watch. I got you. You think you don't think I'm there? We're in the. I'm in the middle of these two. What's up, Persia? How's it going? So oh, yes. they get to take advantage of the fact that they have a few mm -hmm. chances to move forward because once we get to tomorrow, single elimination only. Yeah. Correct, yeah. And if you're just joining us, let's run down how they once playing out. Of course, all three uh, players from each team are gonna go up against. Yes, each that's other. true. The best out of three in their respective game. Oh right? shit! The Street, Fighter, Street Fighter, Production, Street Fighter, cut Street the camera. Second seven. All two out of three sets and all worth one point for each team. So you can see Minneapolis up to bat once again. They were able to score two points over Seattle. Spinach for Eunice. Mojo for Street Fighter Five and Trungi. Mojo and Trungi able to take those two W's. And then mm -hmm. on the other side for Chicago, we got Dual Kevin. Shadow Twenty. Damn. Chicago's Eunice player is very good, in case you guys don't know. Royal Heart, he beat um, he beat a bunch of good players. He beats like Magnets. He beat, I think, Red Blade or something like that. Oh, shit. Production. It's been really, really close either way. And it just makes me want to see more. And speaking of seeing more, let's see what Minneapolis is all about. Shit, I'm not trying to draw on the screen. Let me grab my and so I want to prove that shit uh, team Minneapolis can put up a good fight team Shit, is, um, a little bit scared. How come I can't move my webcam guys down here? I haven't known them for long, but all right, I'll move it up I here really like them So I'm gonna do my best for them. I'm gonna kill everybody for them <laughs> I, I think the team Yeah, this is cool, right? My favorite part about this is like in the past when they've done I'll drag myself down here in the past when they've done Red Bull Conquest stuff, it's always been individual tournaments, right? So the reason I like this format so much is because it forces these players who play these three different games to like hang out together and, you know, participate as a team. I think that shit's cool. They start to second guess themselves and not do things that they normally would because they think this good player is gonna you know it's coming. He's he's too good for that to work on him. I'm gonna have to jump from like layer three of play to layer four and five and really he's already he's sitting on layer three. I think this is a really cool format. As cool as Alexander Smith who dropped the big four months. Weekend stream, yeah. I get you in the corner, it's over. You're not walking. So this is Team Minneapolis. They're playing again right now. They're playing back to back. Oh shit, let me reassume the position. More on commentary. Yeah, I love that. And definitely, you know, really made the team aspect feel Oh yeah, for sure. important than what people think is about the team in the oh, shit. format. So I'm looking forward to it. Man, the production is hard. I gotta move around constantly. Our very first match of round number two in Yeah, this should be good. Yeah, and if you've ever heard Probably Hilda versus Carmine. The game. My man does not care who you are, what character <laughs> For those of you wondering, oh, is this into it already? Oh, he's playing Aurier. Yeah, he played Aurier earlier as well. So he played Aurier, he played, uh, uh, he plays also Hilda, he plays Wagner, he plays a bunch of different characters. Yeah, I want to see his Hilda too. Try to poke back with a nice jump over. Gonna be able to get the full combo as well. Summon the stand. And to level three, that was Man, save. sets up the pinwheel and also sends up Aslor, dropping the Twitch Prime. Damn, that was a good break. Mmm, he baited the throw too. 
That assault was good. <laughs> Man, that was the most uni thing of all time. Run up, full shield. Yeah, he tried uh, Aurier earlier also, right? I heard he played Aurier against, um, uh, who was it, Red Blade? Yes, I, names are swapped currently. This is the setup. You put the charge thing on the ground, and you can control when that pops out. Ooh. That, was, that looked like kind of hard to confirm off of. Puddle's still out. It doesn't really matter there. That's one of the big mix-ups you see constantly with this character, Carmine, is the jump, a charged, uh, charged assault, and then, like, am I going to actually commit to the button? Am I going to just go low? Am I going to throw? Yeah, Royal Heart plays Hilda normally, but he plays a bunch of different characters. Yeah, I think that this also, what's interesting about this format is that also their teammates are, you know, players who play Street Fighter or Tekken. So their teammates are probably also going to be invested in this kind of a match too, right? Damn, Assault, Grid Break is horrible. That's like one of the worst things to get hit by too. You just low shield. This is a game, if you haven't played this game before, this is one of those games where it's not like most anime games or other anime games where you constantly just use your shield or your FD or whatever your defensive like mechanic is. In this game, you have to be pretty careful about how often you shield because if you get hit, there's such a big penalty for it. How many teams are there? Eight total, four in each group. So this group has, at the top, you can see there's Minneapolis and Chicago, and then the other two teams are Seattle and Los Angeles. And they're playing around Robin. Yeah, again, when you get grid broken, if you look in the bottom here, this grid bro getting grid broken like this means you don't have access to anything that is on the grid button, which is the D button. So you don't have assaults, you don't have shields, and that makes you very abusable to a lot of different things. Like if there's stuff that's really good, but you can shield it, then there's like situations where, well, I just can't shield now, so I can just abuse whatever offensive thing I want to do. Two teams from each group advances. That's correct. So here we go. Spanish looking strong. He could close this out right here. Oh, you have a nice punish on the other side. Gerd. People, I don't like Gerd. I think Gerd sounds so silly. Steve was saying it earlier, and it cracked me up. Yeah, charged overhead. This is bad. It should be knockdown, super. Big damage. Yeah, it was clean overhead to get the start. You can see how much damage and the setup afterwards. You gotta be careful with this setup. Yeah, has layers too. If you wake up with something invincible, you're still gonna get stuck in it. Oh, Woo! nice block of the overhead. That was clutch. Yeah, that he immediately used um, the cycle to use guard thrust. Again, though, you are not out of it when it comes to Carmine and Spinach, man. But this defense. Yeah, you can't air. Well, yeah, I guess that's fine. But if you ever get stuck in the air against a projectile in this game, it's actually very bad for you. If you get stuck uh, block air blocking a projectile, you up back into one, someone can just run up and anti-air you really free. But you can't block on the ground. Yeah, the names are switched. Um, they're not correct. Ringe brought it up right away. He was like, all right, the names are flipped. I'm sure production will fix that any second. And it's been the entire match with the name flip, so... Get some space counter. Oh. Yeah, counter hit combo. Your trade combo. Gotta put him in the blood pillar. Now set up the games. <laughs> that this this setup is really hard to deal with because there's that projectile on the ground from the puddle that Carmine can release by holding a button, just like he did right there. That projectile is really powerful. It makes it makes it really good for running continued offense, and also there's a lot of times where just the threat of you releasing it is big enough that people will respect what you're gonna do. Wow, he walked mad far for that throw. He's got 200 meters. He's dead. Straight up running, right up to him with no fear. 2-0. No fear. Great stuff from Royal Hard. Gonna be putting himself on the board for Team Chicago. Team Chicago. Great start from Team Chicago because Royal Hard was the player that actually dropped the Elder Red Blade up against Team LA, right? So we've already seen Shadow as well as Dual Kevin do a whole lot of work, and now they're the ones that are gonna be up next. Yeah, it's working Wait, Trinity. Really, really well this point. <laughs> Did you not realize because the name switch? Everyone a chance to shine, which is why round robin is so important right now. 
Yeah, there we go. So you guys are wondering about the order. You guys keep getting mixed up. So this is what it looks like. The game order is right below my head. It's always Eunice, then Street Fighter, then Tekken each time. It's a round robin. So round robin means you play everybody in your group. So you see how it says Group A over there is LA, Chicago, Seattle, Min uh, Minnesota. That means that it's going to be LA versus Chicago, LA versus Seattle, LA versus Minnesota, Chicago versus LA, Seattle, Minnesota, etc. Everybody plays everybody in the group. So uh, that's the way it works. And the way your team wins is by, you know, there's three games down here. One team will win two to one or three to zero, you know, one or the other. So that's what it's going to be. So we're on group A right now. Currently, LA lost to Chicago. So Chicago beat LA 2-1. Oh, they're showing it on screen right now. Let me show it. So you guys can see that S. Steve dropped the big Twitch Prime. Thanks very much. Uh, you can see Chicago beat LA 2-1. That's why they're red. And then Minneapolis beat Seattle 2-1. And then Minneapolis is up 1-0 right now. It's not over yet, though. So this is the format. After this, we'll have LA Seattle. Kicking it off like this could really turn the tides, because like you said, where's New York? There's no New York team. The only Northeast team is Philly. That is a good thing. That is amazing. So moving forward onto Street Fighter Five, I actually can't wait for this matchup because between Dual Kevin. Yeah, if you ordered Group B alphabetically, you would have Hoop. What is it? Houston, Orlando. What's the other one? The other one is Satanic Nanny, who dropped the big four months. Thanks very much. Um, Oakland, that's right, and then Philly. And you mentioned Dole Kevin's Marvel background earlier, right? So oh, he's yeah. going to obviously be <laughs> super good. Wow, you're right, Blueberry. Yeah, they messed up. That's a mistake. It's supposed to be .1 to Chicago. Yeah, they just didn't flip the names for some reason. Ringe even said it on commentary. And to be honest, one of the few Marvel players able to branch out to another Absolutely. game. Maybe I should text Ringe. Where's my yeah. phone? Yeah, I mean, especially to a whole different type of fighting game, right? Man, my phone's all the way over there. Let me save this tournament. Hold on. You see, uh, like, Marvel players kind of uh, go towards the versatile gameplay, right? right? But now, Dual Kevin making it work with whatever game he touches. And I think that really shows he understands fighting games on a fundamental mental level, right? Let me save the tournament. Which is sometimes the hardest part. Absolutely. <laughs> Um, and then Mojo I, you want me to call Ringe live? No, I don't have to call him. Hold on. Both of these players part of SFL. Oh, nice drop kick in at Mojo. We're doing all this talking about Dual Kevin. Make sure you talk about me. He's like, don't forget, I'm back again. I'm champion of my region again for a reason. He is containing Dual Kevin in the corner. All right, right I sent the message. Really making use of the footies because that was one thing we saw from Dual I Kevin saved the day. One. SoCal privilege? No, I just can text them because I have a phone. The other person, but Mojo, he's like, I'm just not going to give it to you. <laughs> I just have a phone, that's all. able to put a stop to whatever Dual Kevin was going for. He loves that move in that range, especially when it's going to close out the round, right? Even if it's not going to lead to anything further. When all you need is a round closer, it's a great move. Goes with a charge drop kick. That's plus frames. This event is so dead. I don't even know what that means. I feel like you guys have ruined the word dead for me. I actually don't know what that... What does this event is so dead mean? You're watching it right now. It's happening. It's living. It's live. I don't know what that means. This tournament is dead. I think he means it's not hype. Just wait. Just give it time. You know the finals are going to be sick. I think this format's fucking sick. Damn trade. Oh, if he did quick Nadeshko, I think that would have worked. Well, damn. If he did EX Giant Swing, he would have killed him. Yeah, I love the idea of mixing up the different games. That shit is tight. This, this tournament format's very <laughs> as good as these thousand bits. Hey, thanks very much. Think you are a very good commentator, but can be very biased time to time. You know what's funny is like, you say that, but I've been told I'm very biased for. US players and very biased for Japanese players. Somebody came in my stream and was like, why don't you ever cheer for US players? Also, hey, thanks for the thousand bits. <laughs> hey, that was worth it in that moment. 
Like, remember when I said Mena was going to win Capcom Cup? Everybody's like, wow, you're so biased. You're just voting for somebody because you want the... Oh, wow, that sucks. He dropped the combo. They were like, you're just voting for Mena because you want to, like, be the fan favorite. And then he won, and everybody's like, yeah, well, he got lucky. You're wrong. <laughs> that was bad funny. I mean, you just look at the bracket, and like, remember before Evo, the day of Evo Top 8, I tweeted, I think Bonchan's gonna win. This looks like a bracket that he's gonna win, and he won the tournament. You just look at the bracket and probably tell who's gonna win. And also tell who Revolver Kayak Fisherman is. Thanks very much. Why are you biased towards JoJo, you bitch? Well, look. Chill out, man. Is this turning online? No, it's offline. Side switch. That was weird. He's going to clap him back to the corner. Oh, that sucks. He got the, the fat whirlwind, too. I still like Jonathan. Uh-oh. Nice. That medium kick is so good. It's very, very negative, but like, who cares, right? It's just such a good ass button. Yeah, if he wins this, it's Chicago's winning this, right? Because they won game one, so we'll see how this goes, and we'll also see how these thousand bits go. Thanks very much. Damn, you spent twenty dollars to tell me that I'm biased and you like me more than Yipes. What else do you think about me? <laughs> keep, keep going. Okay, what else? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you uh what do you what do you like about uh <laughs> what do you like about my uh my life you know <laughs> you think my nose is big you should say that it's over Chicago's cleaning up. And also, the hard part is, too, is that you have Tekken coming up where Shadow versus Trungi is going to happen, and Shadow's mad fucking good. That was a beatdown. Thoughts on Will be Tech? Yeah, I'm a big fan. I heard they've got Guatemalan Tech locked on the lockdown, you know what I'm saying? Which is a beautiful part of this format, but man, I'm just are people paying you to insult you? I think so. Does that fall under self harm on Twitch? No, right? I think I'm fine. As fine as these thousand bits. My nose is big, bro. Do tell me more. Tell me more about my. What do you think about my beard? This is the best day of my life. Doesn't get any better than this. I got 30 bucks, and you said I'm biased. Then you said I'm better than Yipes. It's like a compliment sandwich. Have you guys heard that term before, the compliment sandwich? It's how you deliver an insult to someone, but you do it in a way to, that's disguised as a sandwich. The way it works is you say something nice. Then you say what you really need to say that's rude. Then you say something nice again. You know what I mean? That's a compliment sandwich. So I've, it's, I've sandwiched the criticism between two compliments, right? So this is like the reverse of that. You know, it's he's had the, the nice thing is in the middle, and then he's had two mean things. This is an insult sandwich. And I'm, I'll take another bite. That means that it, well, it depends on how layered the sandwich is, because if there's another nice thing after that, then that means that we're, we're like double stacked, you know, it's two and two, it's close set. Yeah, it's like he said, Sageham is very biased, but also I enjoy him more than Yibes. And he's got a big nose. That's the way it's flowed so far. But we'll see what Arc 4 is like, you know. It's like a roller coaster. Ringe is trying to correct production. Yeah, I text him. And I told him to tell them that it's all fucked up. It's 2 0 Chicago currently. It looks like they're yelling at the players and they're like, hey, who won the first set? And they're like, Chicago. And they're like, okay. Yes. 
I think the, I think he even tweeted that after winning the Minneapolis qualifier. He was like, I'm here to let y'all know that Geese is still a real character. Yes, yes. So definitely no commentator can beat Obama yelling, step on me, mama, when Android 18 command throws. I prefer not to impose my fetishes on the chat room when I commentate, but if that's something that you're interested in, uh, first of all, that's okay, I think. And second of all, I can probably look into it. For this Rebel Conquest final so late in the season, but also TWT, right? Second World right. Tour finals. I can probably look into it. I, I will never forget Sleepwalk, gifting the big sub to Plantation. Hey, thanks very much. I'll never forget I was on commentary with Obama and like Eno was on or something, and he just goes, That's a bad girl. And I was like, Well, what does that mean? Can you explain to me exactly what that's a bad girl means? He's like, that's just a bad girl. You need one of those in your life. And I was like, okay, well, I didn't realize. I also didn't realize a thousand bits. Oh, we're back to the bias. So we went from bias to well, but better than yipes to you got a big nose to you seem like a nice commentator, but a bit biased. We've made it into a full circle. It's a four. It's a four panel circle. I think that's a square. If I'm uh, remembering my shapes correctly. So we're going to see if Shadow's Shadow going Zafina. Yeah, he's been playing a lot of Zafina. You guys got to use the compliment sandwich in day-to-day -day life. It's very useful. Punish on the down four two. Hey, do you guys know what Zafina's down four two is on block? Is it only minus 10? It's probably like 11 or 12, right? I did say that that mix-up was dirtier than, dirtier than Obama's search history on commentary. Yeah. I mean, but I'm not, you know, it's, it's facts. Nice down four. I think the, ex you know, it's either down four while standing four there and you can't guess. He said on the couch, Tekken players don't block their feet. That's the truest words ever spoken. The first thing I ever talked to Tekken Steel about Tekken, he told me, don't duck. That was one of the first things. Down four, no counter hit. I like uh, Shadow playing Zafina in general. I think this character seems pretty good. And a lot of people have been playing her lately. Plus, she's new and she's weird. Those two things, I think, help her quite a bit, you know? Weird character. She has lots of moments where she just ducks under random shit, right? Her body just goes under mids. Her movement is fantastic. Her back dashes and steps are really, really good. They're like like an Alyssa or some like, uh, you know, the female her box where they just like lean way back. She seems very good in terms of her movement. She's very, very, very uh, mobile characters. Mobile is Blueberry. He gets to the sub to bias. Thanks very much. He normally plays Claudio and Kazuya, but he also plays this character quite a bit. He's been playing this character a lot. He's qualified for the TWT uh, World Tour in um, Thailand. So this could be warming up for that. And Trungi is uh, definitely one of those players that's good enough to be qualified for the finals. He is super, super good. This is the wall. This is clean 50% at the start of the round. Yeah, I mean, this is a pretty hard round to win. There's got to be, like, a huge whiff or something. Nice back dash. Damn. That leads to a combo if it hits. You can also use it to extend combos as well. Who do I think will win TWT finals? JDCR. So he can come buy me food when he comes back to SoCal. Yeah, Trungi's good, man. I mean, Shadow's qualified for Tekken World Tour finals. JDCR's English is awesome. Yeah, it's very good. I think it's better than any player I can think of who is um, the English is their second language from Asia. I can't think of anybody whose English is better. Like who who else would have better English from like Korea or Japan or whatever? CBM CBM is good as well. So like we predicted, we I mean, his is better than Tachikawa. It's better than it's better than Voldemort. It's, it's better than who else? Um, I mean, to be fair, in Singapore, pretty much everybody speaks English, at least from my experience. Yeah, we got the switch to Claudio. 
I'm sure Sien learned both for, for simil at, like when growing up. One good one. Yeah. <laughs> they they speak Singlish. Oh, nice. Uh, JDCR's English is better than Tokido. Damn, that kill. Honestly, that's the most satisfying thing in this game for me. Low parry. Stop going low. Did I predict the team to take it? No. I think the strongest teams are. I think the Seattle team is extremely strong. Oakland is very good. Chicago's got. To be honest, I think there's a lot of good teams. It's hard for me to say because I have to like sit down and think about the the head-to-head -head matchups because. If a team has two players that I think will absolutely dunk the rest of the group, then that team will make it out, right? Because that's the important part. And then once you get to the quarters, you have to think about, like, the format a little bit different and who's going to be more consistent and clutch. Yeah, block and punish. I've heard good players tell me that's pretty fuzzyable, and I see very good players block it consistently every time, so I believe them. Especially when it gets down to the end of the round, where it could be easy to... Yeah, counter hit launch, bing, bang. That's the wall. Do we stop calling him Voldemort next year? Yes. It's a two to three frame fuzzy. Okay. The first person I, I had heard about fuzzing it was, I think, Bronson talking about Jimmy. He's like, yeah, he blocks it every time. So you can fuzz it. And Jimmy was like, yep. So, you know, it seems like it's not so bad. Yeah, Rangchu does speak three languages, and so does uh, Gamerby. Gamerby speaks like four languages. Important throw break. I think he dies if he doesn't break it, probably. Right back in the game. Could tie it up one to one with this round. And it was great too because it left them just outside of rage range as well. Damn, that was the smallest little step into the hop kick. That was a beatdown. Cool. Well, I'm glad to see that he switched, right? Like, I wasn't sure if he would stay as Zafina because you know his team is up, uh, what's it called? His team is up 2 0, so he doesn't need the win here, but it's worth points to get the W, right? And especially if you don't want to play this Minneapolis team again. Like, especially because the matches can be close. I think especially the Street Fighter match and the Tekken match can be pretty close here that we saw. Like, you know, you want to 3-0 them so that, that you can push them down and then maybe some other team will qualify. Rangchu speaks, I think, in order of how good he is at them. Korean, obviously, because he's Korean. Then Japanese, then English. Chicago looking to complete the sweep. I've heard his Japanese is very good from everybody who speaks it, so. Sweep we see of the day. So let's find out. Yeah, Chicago is looking super, super good. This team in general is, <laughs> he tried to throw tech, the throw, and got a throw, and then he teched the throw. <laughs> so fuzzing in a game like Tekken, right? So if you're familiar with fuzzing in a game like, um, I don't know, Dragon Ball or something, where that refers to like a tall character getting hit by an instant overhead or something like that. Fuzzing in a game like Tekken or uh, NRS games like Mortal Kombat or Injustice usually refers to blocking with a specific timing. So let's say you're blocking a string, and the first hit of the string is mid, and then the second hit of the string is either low or overhead. So you block mid, and let's say the overhead is a little slower. So you mid, you low block for like two or three frames, then you high block. And if you always time that correctly, you will always block the mid into the overhead and the mid into the low. That's what it. That's what it's referring to. That's a fuzzy, uh, like fuzzy guard is what they call it, or fuzzy blocking. So fuzzing refers to you know both things. Uh, some games you can fuzzy and you can fuzzy, right? You can fuzzy guard and do an offensive fuzzy, right? So it's both. Fuzzy block or fuzzy guard is uh, what's it called? Um, they're similar. Nice. Not only did he recognize the parry, but he did a low that would punish it in time, not even risking trying to hit a mid or something. Chicken blocking is air blocking. Up backing so that you block in the air. When you're air blocking, you can't get hit by overheads or lows. So chicken blocking refers to up backing because you don't want to block on the ground and get hit by a mix up. Oh my 
goodness. Hey, oh, all yes. that oh. work Shadow did is gone now because we're just about to head up here. Oh my god, the it's got rage. It's, rage. it's looking a little hairy here. Ooh. A little hairy. Oh shit. He's gonna get hit by the rage drive. You'll see. That was superior decision making at its finest. Sidestep running to punish. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Burn knuckle. Yeah, no wall. Nice. Wow, and he gets to pull him off the wall. That was pretty good. It was kind of a weird situation, and I think he made pretty much the best of it. Looking for the time to use that starburst. There it is. Keeps it safe. Mm, the legs. It is. Oh, oh, punish. Not dead. And he's got rage. Didn't commit. Oh, it traded. No, it didn't even trade. I thought he hit him with the running, too. It is too close. Right now, it's really too close. Yeah, this might actually end up being important. Even though Chicago already wins because they're up 2-0, this might end up being important for, you know, whether Minneapolis qualifies later on or not. You have to remember that you still get a point for, let's say your team loses 2-1, you still get resplat. Nice. You still get an extra point, so. God damn, that hurt. Geese wins with one hit, though. One back three, two, and it's over. Back three, two, max. That's off the table. He also dies to like any counter hit. Down four counter hit will do it. Oh, spend the rage drive. Forward three. Breaks the throw. Nine seconds on the clock. Oh, don't give it up to sidestep running two. Nice. He was a frame out of the way. That's an important win. You see them celebrating. Like even though their team loses 2-1 overall, that's an important win because Let's say it comes down to like that one point differential or they tie with another team, but they beat that team head to head. That's going to be very important. That's something that you have to be like, you got to fight for those extra little points because now instead of getting zero points and maybe being the only team that gets shut out there, they get the one point on the board. That's a big win. So this is going to be the replay. Then they're going to show the standings. So while they're playing the replays, this is what the format is. So you see the group stage over there. It's LA, Chicago, Seattle, Minneapolis, uh, Minnesota. We're doing that first, and it's always in this order. So we're going to restart the new set, and it's going to be Eunice, then Street Fighter, then Tekken again. And as you can see down there in the second bullet point, uh, whoops, it says each best of three win grants one point. So you get points even if your team loses. If your team loses two to one, like, you know, they win Eunice and Street Fighter, your team wins Tekken, which is what happened here. You can still get a point, which is important, right? Let me, oh, shit. Let me drag this graphic to be even again. Sorry, everybody. Oh, it's like slightly smaller than the stream. I didn't realize it until right now. Damn, that sucks. Well, it's not the end of the world. Amazing punish, but Trungi with the clutch factor. That's, that's what How do they determine who gets on the team? So during the year, they play qualifiers at each of the locations that you now see on the screen. They're showing it now, too, but I can show you the results. So currently, Chicago's up four points in this, which is pretty big. Although LA and Seattle haven't played their second match yet. So somebody's going to end up with at least three points after this. But again, if Minneapolis, like, okay, let's say it comes down to the round robin. Minneapolis and LA are tied. And then Minneapolis wins the head-to-head. -head. If they have that one extra point because they didn't get 3 0 right there, they're moving on into the finals. And the finals is a shot at, at uh, 4500 bucks total. It's $1,500 a player for winning. And you get, like, some other shit, too. Like, a, I think, like, a stick and, like, some other prizes. This is confusing. Not so bad. Imagine if this team tournament was just a Tekken team tournament. And there was three Tekken players. And every set gets you points. So your team either wins 2-1 or 3-0. Just imagine that, but there's just a different game each round. That's all. That's not the way it works. And the way it works with Hentai Senpai 69 dropping the big Twitch prompt. Ooh, look at the tension between these two on the couch. Mm. 
<laughs> Don't you stick your arm across there. You better be careful, Jeremy. Woo! <sighs> Sammy Fish is crying internally. I can see it on his face. Oh, man. He's gonna be like, oh, Sammy, let me talk to Shit and Paulo. And just, oh, excuse me, I was reaching across. Oh, is your nose bleeding? Guess you can't work this weekend. <laughs> And all these players super strong, and now with especially this final match, you could just see the tension heating up. Yeah, and let's see it ourselves. Let's go to a replay right <laughs> here. Looking over that matchup between <laughs> Minneapolis and Chicago. Starting off with the Eunice here. It's really surprising seeing Royal Heart. Oh, on man, the it's good. It seems like he's rocking it. I thought it was going to be only in the matchup versus Oh, Ripley, man, it's good. It's cracking me out. really good. Yeah, he, yeah. Was, he was telling me... I don't know what the lore is between these two. The, this is a rough week. I gotta do a, a Hail Mary to the GGPO gods. This is a rough weekend in terms of pairs. I feel bad for Red Bull. They're very limited in what they can do, you know? Because you you gotta be careful about putting Jeremy and Sammy together. But you also have Yives and Persia. And that's, like, you know, a little weird, too. So, like... Between the six people they got, there's, there's like, two pa You only have, like, a, a couple of options for pairings available, you know? There's a worry. It's a worrying weekend. <laughs> That's a big drop. Yeah, they're probably still cool. To be honest with you, I think Jeremy and Sammy are less cool. <laughs> it's probably less cool of the two. Yeah, I mean, Jeremy doesn't like Sammy still, despite the, despite the fact that he paid eventually. This is why you don't team. date co-workers. Yes, I'm talking about Jeremy and Sammy. That's what I'm saying. But now here, look at, look at, uh, with Trungi and Shadow, Can I please go to the DR next year? I went to Puerto Rico this year and had a great time. If there's a Dominican Republic tournament, yeah, I'd like to go. Everybody that went had a good time. You know, it's because Jeremy and Sammy played a Eunice match for money, and it took a long time for Sammy to pay. It was initiated because Sammy was drunkenly talking a lot of shit, and then, you know, it got crazy. Oh, sorry. I was going to say, he managed to do... A few things kind of risky because he was this is why Steve and I are eternal. Yeah, we're chilling, dude. <laughs> we're chilling. I think Red Bull should just fucking do it. They should just put Sammy and Jeremy together for the final. That shit would be tight. He's gonna try to use that one bar and just keep bursting it out every time he gets it because it's not worth it. All right, let me alleviate some of the tension. Especially now in this new meta. Yeah, I mean, uh, honestly, for geese players or like just meter players in general, it seems like they're using a lot. I'm of with you, Sammy. Yeah, that makes sense. On hit because they have to get the damage out of it, otherwise they're not exactly with the rest of the Tekken cast. But that is it for this set. We're gonna go throw it back over to the studio and see what Yipes is all about. And you know what I'm all about, Sammy Fish. I'm all about seeing the wheel <laughs> of misfortune. Yes, yes, of course. We already had some killers. We just seen Minneapolis versus uh, Chicago. Chicago. Man. I thought they was going to go for the 3 0, but of course, Trungy hangs in there and beats Shadow and adds a breadstick to the board. Which all is right, let me, let me show you guys the standings currently. As you can see here, we have Chicago crushing it. They got the 2 1 over LA. And down there, you see they got the 2 1 over Minneapolis. So as you can see, well, my setup is not even obsolete because guess what? I can move over. And and show you guys the exact number here chicago and then you see the exact number right here from minneapolis seattle oh shit what up i'm back on commentary how's it going everybody i know that shade is real that was all right but we know we got team lax who is proud and powerful they're going to be going up against team seattle who yeah range tell me about it a super legit team as well so i can't wait to get this started and again these are the two teams that fell right they only mm -hmm. got one point so they really begging for points here but it looks like we are going to go to the team feature real quick right now oh let's check out that team feature <laughs> or maybe not maybe not indeed well so <laughs> oh no <laughs> <laughs> that was sick. That was sick. As sick as Braun dropping the big Twitch Braun. Man, there was one cut that happened at North American Regional Final where, like, I was like, all right, well, we're going to head down to James, who's going to have an interview with Problem X. <laughs> and it, like, didn't cut. And I remember when it didn't cut, I got a text message uh, from someone who was like, wow, the cut was so long, I saw you roll your eyes. <laughs> I was like, it's not my fault. I'm just like, what am I supposed to do? You know, I just got to keep fucking staring at the screen. Oh, shit. What up? We're back. But let's also see what LA is all about. I mean, the hosts have been talking about them nonstop. Yeah. Let's see what they're really about now. Now we're going to it. All right. 
Oh, I should put it down here, actually, I think. Yeah, so I don't cover the faces of the player. And I'm definitely going to show you this weekend why you did. I played pretty much everybody. Uh, and you, that's here for units and bracket. You know what's crazy about this? Red Blade ended up winning the LA qualifier, and he beat um, Berger Derv in the finals. And Breaker Dave ended up beating Red Blade for for climax. So that's pretty good. So our LA team is Speed Kicks Pinoy Red Blade. Pretty good team, actually. I think you can be pretty happy about that team overall. I think having players of this caliber really, really motivates me to do better. Because, Look at you know, Jeremy, that shiny bald head. That'll, that'll push you to do that much, that much more. I mean, I think, I feel like I'm the only SoCal native here. <laughs> so we're usually known for like the rushing down, but now SoCal is just like, That's pretty yeah. funny. You know what? They did have, they have a rather aggressive team. Honestly, only the best players are coming here, so I'm happy. <laughs> It would be really cool to kind of just win this as a team event that represents like you know different games across the FGC because that means I'm not just the best Tekken player, but I was on the best team in the FGC. That's that's a good point. Hey, that's my text with Ringe. Can you see that down here? You guys want to see something sick? You guys want to see something tight? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. What if I post my emotes in the... Can you guys see it show up on the screen? Hold on. Oh, it showed up on the screen. That shit is sick. Let me post another one. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that was sick. Oh, man. That was sick. That was fucking sick. Oh, this is a sick stream. Shit, the match is live. I got an interactive stream? So Squish trying to get into that corner to get that B-Tachi game started, but Red Blade quickly escaping. He knows what Squish wants. Oh, that was tight. Majos infiltrates the Red Bull stream. Nice block in the overhead. Red Blade's going to be pretty much ready for that. Squish is going to have to get... That was sick. That was so sick. That just tells you that he had no idea the camera was cutting back to him. That's the best part. Man, Red Blade versus Squish. Oh man. Oh man. Did the event just start? No, it started about an hour ago. I think we're about an hour in. Oh, we're shit. It started two hours ago. Yeah, he's dead. Bang. This is a sick match. Two of the best, uh, two of the better players in the US for sure, right? Dang, this is tight. So, Seattle and LA both lost round one, by the way. In case you guys are curious, very important match. If either of these teams is trying to qualify, like you need this W here. If you go down 2-0 in a round robin, you're not going to make it, I don't think. I'll explain the format after this match, Ryan, since there's a little bit of a break. Let's watch some uni first. Oh, he was just, he committed to the low shield? Sheesh. That was a quick one for, uh, for Squish. Good chunk of damage too, oh, yeah. not just to the health bar, but to the mental of the game. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, so LA lost to uh, who did they lose to round one? Chicago, and then Seattle lost to Minneapolis. That was the round one matchups for them, and then Minneapolis just played against Chicago, and Chicago won that. Chicago is sitting pretty in this group so far. And jump back assault forward, no challenge. Ooh, he was low shielding before that. Nice, that was fantastic. Yeah, backdash on wake up. Guard thrust to avoid the plus a billion. Bitatsu doesn't shield it. The the thing about Bitatsu is that you have to, you know, the answer is like, why don't you just shield and punish? But then there's stuff like, well, he can CS it if he has meter, he can cancel in a super, he can, you know, do a different Tatsu and then end early. He can thank Blueberry for gifting a sub to Ill Passion. He's got a lot of options. Right? You can just do like a Tatsu and then you shield and he throws you or he clips you, right? And you're just like, shit. Stagger pressure there, he's not biting. Yeah, see, that was Atatsu there. The exact same thing we were just talking about earlier. And earlier we were talking about Infinity Euphoria. Dropped a big 
five months. Thanks very much. Shield is not quite a parry. It's you activate it, and the you know as you block attacks, it changes the frame data of whatever you're blocking, and it builds your grid gauge, which you see in the bottom of the screen. The scary thing is, is that unlike most shields, if you're low shielding and you get hit overhead, it's very bad. And if you're overhead shielding and you get hit low, it's also very bad. So it's one of the games where it's a little, you know, it's not just like, oh, I should shield everything. Like right there, shielding the, shielding the jump, build them a little bit of grid gauge, which you see in the bottom. And that grid isn't very important for both. Ooh, he, man, that is crazy. He tried so hard to blow up like some kind of defensive OS. This hurts, man. Yeah, break on the gold throw. I think that was like Red Blade recognizing, like, okay, I need to throw, like, change off the way I'm pressuring here. This is actually, oh. I was just going to say, because of the time, this is really hard to win. I was just going to say, because of the time, Red Blade is just going to lock him down, spend bar, like, force him to get chipped, and then die. And the Squish is like, what if I just fucking parry, and then land this, and then just, like, throw this fireball? I'm like, okay. Wow, air-to-air -air counter hit, nothing after. Eesh, that hurts. That hurts real bad. Damn. He tried to backdash, I think, exactly probably expecting something like that from Red Blade, and he just didn't get far enough. Ay, 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 the Pillar Man. Oh, no anti air? Spend it, yeah, sir. Look at the damage on this. 42 Hondo. That'll do it. That was clean. Man, Squish beat him up. All right, all right, all right, all right. So that's a loss round one for LA in this matchup. Big deal, right, considering um, that this is three sets total, so you really need those Ws. So let's look at the format. Okay, so this is the format of how it works. Each time you a team plays, you play Unis, then Street Fighter, then Tekken in order. That's how the round robin works. And each match in the round robin uh, is a two out of three. That's worth one point. So if your team wins Unist, let's say it goes like this, right? So you win Unist, then this side wins Street Fighter, then this side wins Tekken. The final score is two points to one. So it is possible for a team to win 3-0 and one of the teams to get zero points. Or it's possible that it goes 2-1, which is what we've seen so far. So that's how each, uh, you know, set breaks down. So you need, you know, even if you're just like a dominant and you win every Eunice match, you need your team to show up and win, right? So uh, round one, LA lost. And so they're already down a match against Seattle. Seattle also lost round one. And it's a round robin between everybody in their group. We're on group A right now. So we're almost done with the round robins, actually, if we... Hey, delete this. I gotta delete this. And thanks, Sonic Soul, for dropping the big host, Saruni. Thanks very much. This is what I was trying to show. So this is the current round robin uh, situation. As you can see, Chicago beat LA first, so they're uh, they're getting smoked. What is this fucking emo? So that's the format for uh, Red Bull so far. This AR shit is pretty cool. If I was there, I'd run up and shake my hand through it, you know? Nope. Nope, Ryan. It's always, it's a round robin. Game order always goes like this. Unis, then Street Fighter, then Tekken. So right now, it's LA versus um, uh, Seattle, and they always play the same order. So we have Street Fighter now. Yeah, so the current the current set count between these two is 1-0 Seattle. Yeah, of course. Samurai hailing from Northern California, but qualified through the Seattle. This is the only actual LA player on Team LA, by the way. Also, same with the Seattle team. Samurai is from uh, NorCal. He's up in like San Jose or something. Now he's south of SF, but he's up in NorCal now. Good standing medium kick buffer. A lot of Bison's mid-range game is about him hitting like down forward heavy punch or heavy punch, which are like pretty slow. So like five frame medium, obviously, is extremely good. 
niche, right? You got crouch fierce, you got crouch jab, but they're situations. Good anti air dash up. Nice right. He doesn't have VT2, he's not playing it, so uh what's it called? He doesn't have like a command throw threat there. But you have huge damage output and also ways to extend pressure because of it. I like that view reversal on a lead against Bison. View reversaling stuff like that is very good. What does the X and LAX stand for? The worst airport in the world. That's what it stands for. Wow, no ants here. No crouching heavy punch. No hell attack. Good challenge. Man, that first round was just Samurai chilling for 70 seconds. He was like, you know what? I don't have to do shit. That's hard to whiff punish, too. That standing heavy punch from Bison. It's also unsafe, but you're always afraid of the cancel. Punish. Oh, my. Nothing. Deer in headlights. Punish. I'm surprised he didn't do flame into the knockdown, but I guess scissor kick is fine to you. Nice hit confirm. Oh, no. That's the round. Bang, bang. See ya. Smoked. Man, that was a rough first game. If you're Seattle, having Samurai on your team is actually so nice, right? This dude just shows up. Cool, calm, and collected. He's thanking Abyssal Major for dropping the big Twitch Prime. Mager? Abyssal Mager for dropping the big Twitch Prime. He's over there meditating and shit. Squish is retweeting anime in the background. He's retweeting some lewd shit. While Samurai's meditating and beating people's asses. Samurai following and Squish's lead here. We'll see if Trungi gets the throw game going in Tekken 7 when he's up. Right now, Panoi taking some time to think about the matchup. It's he hard knows. To throw in this is easy peasy. But if it works, I'm going to be high up. All right, back to Street Fighter, though. First game, Samurai. The finals for this are Sam Show on Stadia. Yeah, a little bit. All right, where's my outro for my stream? kind of rough. You face Seattle, but it's Samurai up to that. I'm about to run the Pillar Man theme and run for my life. Nice. That was a good attempted whip on it. Man, why is the X-Tatsu so hard to fucking block? Or punish, excuse me. The X-Tatsu has so much pushback. Yeah, you can't beat that move air to air. I think EX Head Stomp is maybe the best air to air move in the game. That was a clean dash under right there. Avoid the jump entirely from Bison. Oh, he tried to air to air with the hell attack with a fierce one. Oh, and they that sucks. Man, Akuma, you motherfucker. To be fair, both of these characters are very good. I'm honestly surprised that Pinoy is playing VT1, to be honest. That seems like a strange choice in this matchup to me. Yeah, even with the nerfed uppercut damage, still killed. Why Samurai on Team Seattle? Because he lost the NorCal qualifier, then went to Seattle and won the Seattle qualifier. That's how life goes. Man, that was a good try to backdash and then whip punish. As good of a try as it is to thank Big Knife for dropping the big two months. Thanks very much. Damn, that beat the air-to-air -air attempt. I think it's because he hit it early. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Nice combo from Samurai. It's the knockdown. Yeah, there, it's over. <gasps> that sucks. The air flip out, bing, bang, boom. Damn, that was a beat down. Boom. 
This is not, I mean, none of them are Come on, don't say how, what's going on with your boys. You didn't have to do Ringe dirty like that, Persia. Yeah, Pinoy got beat up. Yeah, but that is a 2-0 lead for Seattle. In the LA sucks. Squid. All right, so uh, that means that Tekken 7 is... Whoop. That means that Tekken 7 is next. The score is currently... Uh, ooh, how do I do this? I've got fantastic writing. The score is currently 1-1. One, one. So now it's on to LA to see if they get the big zero or not. Damn. Smoke. LA is getting the shit kicked out of them. It's great. See ya. Explosion and shit. Sheesh. That shit hurts. Looking fresh. I'm wearing a plain blue t-shirt that I've had for five years. My beard is all lengthy. I'm drinking coffee. You know, I'm actually chilling. Bronson was right. SoCal sucks. Thanks very much, though. This, like, jump in demon flip it's game. great. Like, yeah, LA's getting the shit kicked out of them. Working, so let me go to the air airs. And Samurai stopped that too. Yeah. He had the jump fierce on deck. He had the preemptive fire. Squish with the long legs nothing. of the law. Really, Squish is like nine and a half feet tall in case you guys don't know. Hey, look at this, this is the results. So Chicago smoked LA round one. Minneapolis beat Seattle. Chicago beat Minneapolis. LA is now down to 2-0 Seattle. It's looking like the second place spot in the group will probably come down to the Chicago or uh, the Chicago and Minneapolis match maybe Minneapolis getting a game there could be important really hard to even climb out thanks and I appreciate you beard growth is one to one to Jojo's progress you know what I was thinking is after Capcom Cup maybe I should grow my beard out until Evo Japan so maybe just grow it out for like two months and don't shave it and see what happens yeah, speed kicks needs just grow it out and see how it goes. Yeah, speed kicks has been in LA for the last like two months. For those of you guys curious, he's been here for a while. Chicago Minneapolis already happened. Yeah, that's what I meant. They already played, and the important part about that is that it wasn't a three zero. I think, which is uh, is going to be maybe big depending on how LA performs here and how Chaos performs. Dropping the Twitch Prime. Thanks very much. Because if Seattle three O's and then Seattle plays Minneapolis. Uh, that could be important for final match, you know, and, and scoring and everything. Although, to be honest with you, I like speed kicks here. I'm trying to continue both of these characters, like fighting with their feet. Unorthodox on both cases. Did you miss Street Fighter V? You missed the last match, which was Street Fighter V. But it will soon be Street Fighter V again. <laughs> It goes Eunice, then Street Fighter, then Tekken, over and over and over all day. So, you'll be watching all three games no matter what. Nice. Yeah, yeah, it's cool that they jump back and forth between all three games. Too far on the slip kicks. Nice. No walls to worry about. Match starts with a screw. Nice. Counter hit back 3-3. Infinite stage on random is very good actually for uh, Eddie here too, I think. <clears throat> That's one of the most important parts about having random select stage on the first round, right? I'm, I'm assuming they're do, using TWT rules, which is uh, first game, random select stage. Second game, loser can pick. And Huaring is one of those characters that wants a wall, not only for pressure, but for damage, too. And Eddie is great at just holding open space, so... Nice whiff punish on the down forward too. Holy shit balls. That was crazy. Yeah, that's a lot of this matchup. Waiting for like sidestep, uh, 3 plus 4, or some kind of whiff from Eddie, and then trying to peacekeeper, trying to do something else. Does that work? What? I don't think I've ever seen that. What the? 
the KO. Uh, yeah, of course, if you're unfamiliar with Tekken 7, oh, sick. the amount of damage that Rage Arts do depends on the health. Bruh, is Eddie Boy Mang going to beat Speed Kick? Speed Kicks beat Shadow in the first game, right? The first time at Chicago and LA played, he was the one that got the W. Stop making me think Eddie is cool. Dude, look at him. Eddie is cool. He's a shithead, but he's cool. Yeah, I mean, nice back three. This is the same situation we saw last time. Uh, what's called? Oh, Shadow beat Speed Kicks? I thought Speed Kicks beat him in this. Did he not? He's not a full Jin player yet? No. Maybe this is a matchup where, you know, as a guy like Speed Kicks, right? Let's say you're learning Jin. You have all this matchup experience for years in this game against Eddie with Huarang. I feel like this is one of those characters where if you're not completely confident in your character choice, it's probably better to go with the comfort pick, you know what I'm saying? Slip kicks. Bang, bang. <gasps> missed the dash up. He saw the same thing last time. He missed the dash up for the rage arm after the screw. Yeah. Uh, I think this is close, but not enough. Mm -hmm. Game one speed kicks. One O for speed kicks. Try to put Ellie on the board. You can see Pinoy, a veteran of these Red Bull events, right? Even back in 2017. Look at that outfit from Squish. <laughs> That's the kind of teammate you need. If you got a teammate willing to wear a cat hat and a cat hoodie, and Samurai who's over there meditating in the forest, like. <laughs> You're like, oh shit, well, I can do anything. I love the way the FTC in general embraces team tournaments and that team aspect, even when it's not even the same game you're playing with your teammates. I don't know. I feel like he's going to stay on an infinite stage, right? It's good. It's good. He didn't rematch? Does he want walls? I feel like you would want an infinite stage as Eddie, right? Wow, Mishima Dojo? And that's one of the big things I've been a fan about of these Red Bull circuits, right? It's always a team tournament. It always gives us an important team tournament of the year. And I think that's something that's pretty much lost besides this tournament in the United States. Right, so game number one was very, very close. I expect nothing. I think having walls here will help speed kicks. Eddie's wall damage isn't that crazy. He really doesn't do anything special on the wall. When he hits the wall, he kind of just does his normal combo ender. So, I mean... Ooh, he could have got launched there, actually, for whiffing the Peacekeeper. Side step 3 plus 4. Yeah, like, look, this is a wall situation. <laughs> That's what I mean. It's like, all right, uh, the wall exists, I guess, but, like, what is Eddie going to do with it, you know? But maybe he just prefers to have walls, to be honest. Or maybe he prefers actually having a smaller stage. I'm not sure. Man, so much of this is ha like forcing speed kicks to play a range game against Eddie and then trying to find peacekeepers or like dash up, bait something. Yeah, to be honest, he's just stayed and relaxed and then doesn't. Like, speed kicks is whiffed something over his head a few times. I like that that time he was ready with the slip kicks. Break on the rodeo. Wall splat. Re splat? No, he didn't even get the sidewall there. Nice. I think Speed Kicks thought that the sidewall was going to hit, but it was like pulling him parallel to the wall instead of like re splatting. Yeah, a lot more pressure. You notice that Speed Kicks is like, all right, fuck this range game. I'm going to just go in and start to press. Rodeo pulls him off the wall. Man, it's funny. As soon as player two, Speed Kicks come out, ooh, that's, that's the kill. Bam, bam. <laughs> Player two speed kicks come out, and all of a sudden, it's like you can't Korean backdash anymore. Just frame skyrocket. Bam, bam. He's not dead, but this is a really bad spot to be. At least he tech rolled away from the wall. Nice duck. Yeah, speed kicks made a good recognition in that, in that uh, third round when he was down two rounds to zero. Damn, same thing we just saw. That if he doesn't crowd Eddie Boy here, he's just not going to get in, right? He's not going to find a clean opening. So he needs to crowd him a little bit and put a little bit more pressure. That was sick. Good whiff on it. Low parry. Mm -mm. 
Nice. That was good. He just stayed on the ground. He was like, all right, I'm going to wait for whatever the mix-up's going to be. I'm not going to commit to anything. Speed Kicks needs to make the comeback there. So just, like, eat whatever grounded hit he wants, I think, you know. Definitely not, right? So what's the plan here? Oh, I think they're going to be tied with Minneapolis for that secondary position. So they want this as much as LA wants to keep that point and keep themselves in the game. Yeah, same same stage. I'm not surprised. The stage isn't that big. And if you're speed kicks, I think, like, you know, the stage side is probably not the issue. And I don't have an issue thanking you, Zeruk, who dropped the big two months either. Thanks very much. Yeah, wall splat. Not really that much off of it. Well, and then he gets another wall splat. <laughs> Uh, this round's going really bad. I, uh, that's my professional opinion. Idom says Samurai is OP in team tournaments. I get the sense that he is, like, the best teammate. He's, like, always like, hey, man, take it easy. Let's go back, rethink this, slow and steady. He seems like such a good teammate to have because he's always, like, the constant, calm voice in your head. Just frame skyrocket, hits the wall again. This is what you have to do here. This is definitely one of those matchups where if Speed Kicks doesn't get in and make this pressure count, no break. If you don't get in and make that pressure count, it's like over, right? Like Eddie can just kind of play the mid range, like keep Speed Kicks out, backdash, backdash. You want to try to peacekeeper to whiff punish something, he goes into relax, it misses, slip kicks, like it's just bad. That's the peacekeeper we keep seeing over and over. Again, yeah, it's the same thing. He whiffs, sidestep 3 plus 4, speed kicks, tries a peacekeeper. He gets, goes into relax, gets a whiff punish. Like, it's the same thing over and over, you know? So that's why if you're speed kicks, you gotta get in. And it's hard. Rage now. Went mid. He hasn't landed, like, any power crush. Alright, forces the mix up off the rage drive. This is hard. I think... Oh, God. Counter hit down forward. Two set point for Eddie May. Oh, my God. Are they going to 3-0 LA? LA sucks. I'm not even from here. I'm from wherever Great White Dav is from, who dropped the big Twitch Prime. Thanks very much. I've never even heard of LA in my life. <laughs> who the fuck's from LA? <laughs> wall? No, the wall didn't bother him. That's good. And he got to sidestep uh, to the right to get the wall back. Counter hit back 3-3. Three, three. This is over, bro. Rage drive. He needs a big mix up. Duck and punish. Three. Zero. Samurai, the ultimate teammate. They still might be in this. So, because LA gets 3 0, I think LA is smoked. They're definitely not making it to the semis. There's no chance. So, when we see the updated standings after the replay, I think that that means that uh, LA gets smoked. They're down two sets. Even if they win the next set, they can't catch up. The other thing is that because um, of the 3-0 there for Seattle, I think that they go in with an advantage when they have to play Minneapolis. I think that that's a big one. Got to use the none of them are from LAOS. Well, Pinoy is. Actually, he's from San Diego. Yeah, none of them are from LA, bro. Come on, bro. Imagine if that was Breaker Dave. Imagine if that was... You know, uh, Commander Jesse. Imagine if this was running black. A statement I never thought I'd say. We, we, you know, come on, try that on my running black. <laughs> try that on my, try that on my uh, Commander Jesse. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Isn't running black also SD? Fuck! Well, you know, you got me there. Yeah, as you can see, so Seattle, um, Seattle lost one, right? They lost one of the, the matches so far. But they're still at four points because they got a 3-0. So Seattle lost 2-1 to Chicago, and they're still tied for first. They could make it out in first seed. It's top two makes it out of the group. Let's go check out a quick interview. Who am I interviewing? All right, I'm here with Tasty Steve and Anakin. I'm here with Anakin. Anakin, I got a question. How you doing? How you feeling, man? Doing real good, man. The matches today so far have been really great. The mm -hmm. format has proven like to be very exciting. 
who would have thought that, you know, Seattle would take out L.A. 3-0 mm -hmm. just like that. And Why do y'all got to keep rubbing? Why you got to be like that, man? What? Just because, you know, we everybody kind of had their favorites going in. L.A. has had such a strong history in the FGC. You know, a lot of things originated out there on the West Coast. Next question. With that being said, you know, this is kind of a team format. What do you think about your team here? All over the country. They had a nice balance, but I think that was like the end of that for them, right? Okay. Just watch. Well, speaking of you know, of these other territories, you've been doing a lot of traveling. I saw you Fuck. and a fellow athlete, you know, um, Snake Eyes, traveling around with a Conquest Road Trip. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? That's not at all what I thought Steve was going to ask. Around some of the stops that uh, were on the Red Bull Conquest uh, tour, just to explore the local city, see what they were all about, check out some of the scenes locally, and and also speak to some of the key figures in each community that kind of. Kind of Son of a bitch! Here it comes. The scenes over the past few years, you know, what do you think about your next match, or what do you think about your team? See with all these good games coming out, so it was good to just get our feet on the ground out there and see what's been going on, you know. And uh, it was really fun. It's kind of now to see also all the players after having traveled from Steve. City Steve likes green tea lattes. It's kind of like a really cool story. Actually, this is too long. They might throw it back. Really interested in seeing how it plays out. You know, I'm ready to play myself. Okay, speaking of, how do you feel about this next match coming up? Because you've been spectating all day, and you it's time to shine. It's time to put the skills to test. Well, how, what's the thoughts going in? It's been super exciting. Uh, all these teams are battling it out, and, I mean, although L.A. is kind of mathematically eliminated, it doesn't mean that they still have you know don't have things to prove. They, they probably got a chip on their shoulder and want to show everybody. Three questions and out. That's usually the interview rule. He's on Team Orlando with Hotashi, and uh, their Street Fighter player is... Who is their Street Fighter player? <clears throat> I remember watching that tournament. It's a pleasure talking to you. We'll wait for those games, but we're going to send it back to the action. Back to you guys. Throw it back to Sejam, Persia, and oh shit. So much. Man, that was, uh, shit. Hold on. Let me resize. As an LA fan. But, um, you know, Seattle's really playing, the, uh, they're, they're really showing their stuff today. And, and, and to be fair, I didn't think they were going to go this far. Uh, I just think that there's some other teams that, like, I, when you're going into this, LA seems like a super strong team, but now we're at the bottom of the barrel. Yeah, it's so. quite a surprise, right? Yeah, for sure. LA with Red Blade. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Now. Is it? All right, is LA out? I mean, we're, we're, we're trying to figure that out right, in just right, a right. second. So, but I mean, just just saying, like, let's uh, say from your perspective, this was one of the hottest matches that we were going to have in units. It was going to be Red Blade versus Swish, right? And what do you think about that? I believe in Red Blade. I think he was unstoppable, but now I don't know. Now but you don't know. Well, let's take a look really quick. I yeah. mean, I'm oh, shit. broken up on my heart because I'm an Akatsuki player. So Let me resize this and drag this. Man, I got to work hard over here. Producing your own stream is really difficult. Wait, they already had Red Blade versus Squinch. He was just asking him how he felt about this. What up, Token Truth? How's it going? How y'all doing today? You guys all chilling? We'll see how long I can last on this stream. They told me it started around 12, so I didn't start until around 12.40. And then after that, um, they told me it might go until around 7? 7 or 8? So I'm like, oh shit. This might go late. We'll see how long I can make it. I might order food to the house. I'm thinking about doing that. I'm thinking about thinking Legend Cobra for dropping the big six months. I'm thinking about... <clears throat> dropping the big uh, postmates, you know what I'm saying? People keep asking who's on what team, right? So this is what the teams look like in case you guys are curious. This is from High Fight's Twitter. He, he put this together, I think, and also put together Muflata, who dropped the big Twitch Prime. Mufaleta, thanks very much. So um, the teams we just saw that the are the Chicago, L.A., uh, Seattle and Minneapolis teams. So those are the teams that we've um, seen so far. I'm covering currently Hotashi, but um, yeah, and Royal Heart. Royal Heart's the one on the bottom here. So these are the teams so far. Yeah, dude, I think the Oakland team is very strong. The Oakland team is hella fucking good. I also think that somebody was asking about the Orlando team. Terrence is who won the Orlando spot for Street Fighter. That's who it was. The LA team is Speed Kicks Pinoy Red Blade, which they just got smoked. They're down two sets and a round robin. I don't think mathematically it's possible for them to 
to make it back, to be honest with you. I think it's pretty much over. And it's over to then say no to Weebs, who have dropped the big three months. They did not hire me for this event. So instead, I am restreaming from home. Let me drag this back over. And it's been quite nice, actually, to just chill with you guys and chat. I've done the Red Bull Finals for three years. Six, 2016, 2017, 2018. Yeah, AJ, I'll do it next time. Oh, it's time for a break? Let me stretch the olden hands. I'm having a great time restreaming this, to be honest with me. It's been really fun so far. Well, it's time for a break, so I should run a quick ad and go get a snack, I think, is probably the game plan. Uh, so let me let me get some can somebody but when I come back can you guys grab the clip of me tweeting range and it's showing up or texting range and showing up on screen Let me run a one-minute ad and then let me hit the bathroom and then grab a snack You guys also grab a quick snack and then we'll get in there. Why not skip time? This shit's live, bro It's a live tournament. I can't skip it Okay, so let me run a quick ad and then we'll come back All right? I'll reconvene in one minute and we'll go over the standings and stuff again Okay, you guys get a snack hold on does anybody have that clip? <laughs> what up, Hotashi? How's it going? How's the event? Hotashi's in my stream chat right now. I can see you. You're right here. You're typing in my stream chat. You're literally right there. I can see you. You're on the screen. <laughs> he just bounced. <laughs> You're on the screen. He's right there. He's target is moving. Subject is moving. Okay, so I got some food. I got. You know how it goes. And welcome back to Red Bull Conquest Finals. Oh, it's me again. What up, y'all? I'm eating a banana here at Red Bull Conquest, looking at the results. It looks like to my right we got uh, LA getting smoked. They lost 3-0 there. The important part about this is that uh, Seattle and Minneapolis have played already. So who hasn't Seattle played? They haven't played Chicago. So this is actually still a tight race, I think, because even though. Even though Seattle lost to Minneapolis, because they got a 3-0, they're tied for the lead with Chicago, which is going to be probably the biggest thing we see so far. Whoa. Sammy and Yipes. Yeah, thank you, man. And, and, you know, I think this is the first time we've actually, like, officially worked together on mics. Sammy looked scared to shake his hand. He was like... Games, like commentating games. <laughs> Texas showdown, maybe? I don't remember. It doesn't happen enough is what I'm trying to say. It doesn't happen enough. That's pretty funny. This is quite the pairing. Did we lose the audio? Oh, oh so you get technical difficulties. Oh my hear goodness. Us now? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tight. Well, in the meantime, I'm going to eat some bananas and pe I actually have the best job here. They're on commentary, like their mics are going out and shit. I'm over here eating peanuts, making jelly jams for dropping the year. Fucking. They have a handshake going. I got peanuts and bananas and water. This is great. They reach handshake again. I don't have to shake anybody's hand. Oh, man. And that's gonna be really difficult for me. I'm over here chilling, man. Just try to score as many points as possible in order to give themselves the best chance because it all mm. at the Info end. says he's gonna go get a bowl of mixed and cashews and almonds. That sounds super good. Right now with the three I points. love almonds too. I'm a big fan. Mojo and Trungi. Who's impressed you the most today? Well, so far, so good. From what I'm seeing is Trungi. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Every time I see that uh, Minneapolis is a little bit in the heat and the heat of trouble, then comes Trungi to actually hold it down and keep it. You know. Um, I mean, obviously, we see Los Angeles. I eat one of these and like a day and a half if I'm not careful. I have to be very careful. What's the format for this? Each match is first to two. And then you play all three games. Well, guess who has the handy dandy formats right here? You can see that Eunice, Street Fighter, Tekken is the order they always play. So it's first to two Eunice, first to two Street Fighter, first to two Tekken. 
so we're, we'll, oh, we'll take him. We'll okay. take him a little bit. All right, that's nice. And then the only person that's got a point. You're probably right, Ricky. Mm -hmm. It's probably the only way for me to do it and not get smoked. Yeah, they sent me the graphics. I'm a professional restreamer. You might, you, you, you might win. You might are, win. His lungs are too clear. Is, is that what we're trying to saying? say? Okay, all right, all right. So we got my man Spinach, aka Spinaka, versus. Let's get into this. You know, uh, I've been actually walking around here on the floor, and a lot of the units play. I too like, like peanuts with a shell. The problem with that is that it makes too much of a mess, you know. What are the best players, if not the best? Like, imagine trying to eat that at my desk here, commentating and shit. I'm gonna get it all over my desk, my keyboard, everything. Alright, let's get into this man. Spinach versus Red Blade. Hey, that was just what we talked about in the last set. You notice how Red Blade blocked the pinwheel in the air? You can't air block ground normals in this game. So if you um, get like put in a situation like that where you air block the pinwheel and you're stuck in block stun, you can just run up and get a free anti air. Caught the back dash. Nothing off of it though. Spends a CS pretty early, but I think that's probably okay. Against a character like this, is she's going to get a turn, and once she gets a turn, you're going to fucking explode. Let's score the hardest of knockdowns. Oh, I like that that we switch inside. I don't even know if that's a hard knockdown, guys. I'm just talking about my my cool low, my butt cheeks. But it is all. <laughs> wow, that was a great empty low mix up. Overhead? No, that's a big drop. And the grid break? It's over. Rising jump A. It's over. Tell me that's not a segue to what Wagner has. His name is Red Blade, and she has a red blade. Is that what I'm seeing here? Is that? Mm -hmm. Spend it. It's over. Oh, no kill. CS, empty low. Mm -hmm. That makes sense, Numza. I also think in general that if you're in a matchup like that, wow, challenge after the throw break, you kind of have to against this character, you know what I mean? I feel like if you don't, like you're just going to end up getting stuck exactly how we saw at the end of the round. Pinwheel pushed her into the puddle. Oh. About this game, though, I've been keeping an eye. I, I can see that you actually, actually can chain heavy moves into lights. That's definitely one thing that yes. really that really spoke to me when I was watching this game. Yeah, so actually, the yeah, this is a very funny pair, these two, Sammy and Yipes, right? This is gonna be interesting on commentary. Yeah, you're dead. It's gonna be an interesting commentary pair. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy and Yipes commentating Eunice and Street Fighter and wow, he is big chilling. Is he eating? Are those fruit gummies? Hold up, let me start to eat some peanuts. I gotta keep up. I gotta keep up with them. Let me eat some. Let me eat some fruit gummies. I got you, fam. No problem. All right, Red Blade, it's me and you, man. Nice block. Oh man, that, 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 that seems to me that it's going to be a setup high. Good block. Oh my goodness, was that a guard Damn. Break? That is a grid break. Grid break. Yes. LA is in a pretty bad spot. I think they need a 3 0 here to even have a chance, and even then their chances are not good. I don't know if it's possible, to be honest. Like, Chicago needs the smoke, Seattle, or vice versa. And Minneapolis, yeah, Minneapolis needs to get 3-0'd here. I don't think LA has a chance. What's the name of that game? This game? This is Eunice. The Red Bull chat was too toxic. Yeah, I mean, you got a chat room where three different fighting games are played over and over and over. Like, obviously, somebody in the chat's going to be like, I only want to watch this game. And then you just like, hey, man, you're a... F wow, ADB trade? Are you kidding me? That was fucked up. Oh, well, it worked out okay. Yeah, Eunice is tight, man. Those motherfuckers are hating, you know? They got... Got nothing better to do in their lives. Sword buff ran out. Oh no, that was a drop into a reset. And the guard break, or the gird break. It's over. 200 meter. Spend it. Damn. Yeah, Wagner's a cool character. If you like playing rather offensive characters, she is a fun character to play. Rather oppressive, really, really uh, plus on a lot of things. She's kind of one of those characters that just grinds you down, and eventually you get hit just because of the sh like the amount of time you're stuck blocking is just so long. Yeah, good block in the overhead. Nice. Oh, we released it even on a hit. You gotta respect the puddle release. Oh, no. 
You know, if Sammy was a beast, when he said spinach was good for hair growth, he should have said, yeah, Jeremy didn't eat enough spinach, bitch. And like I'm saying before, every point is important for this Minneapolis team. But, you know, that's what I would have said. If they want a chance uh, to make sure that they qualify, if they get six no, points here or even it. five, that's going to be the best no, chance for them to move forward. I could recommend Wagner if you like rather aggressive characters, yeah. Uh-oh, Red Blade's sitting up. How these are what? He picked Biakia? Damn, does he just not give a fuck? Okay, so that means it's do or die time for Los Angeles. I've seen him play Biakia before. Oh, boy. I'm kind of surprised. Bash B? Uh, drop? <laughs> okay. Web? One, two, three. Good challenge, yeah. As soon as you hit Biak, the webs go away, too, so... He was ready. Gonna run out to the other side. Have to respect the release. Yeah, that was a throw bait attempt. Or trying to call out like a 3 COS or something. Pretty common for Carmine to do. Dash B. Ah, finally. He low shielded. Can't block the assault. Damn, no confirm. He had 2B hit, and he just delayed the 2C a little too much. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Into the web. Nice. All right. Does this game have chip kill? No. Didn't get all three webs down, but... Yeah, this is a bad spot. And he has, uh, he won Vorpal too. Oh, it's over. <laughs> That's one of my favorite Yipesisms. What's going on? My goodness! Arachnophobia at its finest! They didn't know Yipes was hip to Eunice. Uh, he's not. But he's doing his, you know, he's hanging in there. I like that. The bottle of gentleman's handshake there for Red Blaze. Excellent performance there. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's hanging in there. <laughs> Look at that thumbs up. Count on him, but the question is, can we count on the other two? Because they're gonna have to come up now. He's doing his part, his his part, which is saying this man is getting oppressed. Like, this is it. This is it for LA, and this is it for Minneapolis as well. This is the rest of the. That's how you're supposed to do it. During this group stage, so it is all about this last set. Man, look at that neckline on Sammy Fish. You got to pull that shirt back, bro. You got that hamburger meat ha hanging out there. Not too sure in terms of the of the of the point system, but uh, before we even get to that, let's get some more of that replay action here for Eunice. We can see more of those. Come on, Sammy, pull that shirt back. That's been handed by. I'm with you, and I'm with Desert of Sand, who dropped the big eight months. Thanks very much. How's it going, everybody? You guys chilling? You got the replays here. Your cleavage is showing. That's what I'm saying. To be fair, say no to Weeb. Sammy definitely goes to the gym. His arms are pretty big. As big as Quasimolo, who dropped the big Twitch Prime. Thanks very much. Like, you see how my shirt is? If I was pulled down, I would also be showing the hamburger meat. And that's not the objective. Damn, the point of the end, too. Contra Bar GG says, Sorry, at Sejam, but Yipes and Steve are the golden pair. Yeah, they're pretty good. <laughs> that's true. What games do they have to do together? Street Fighter, I guess, right? I mean, I can't hate. They don't really commentate together that much. And then Minneapolis with the three, the final match that we're gonna have today, Chicago versus Seattle. I want some more They're peanuts. You guys don't judge me. Dragon Ball, yeah, I guess that's true too. But they haven't done that much together for Dragon Ball, really. You know. They're both pretty easy to commentate with. Range, you gotta see the clip from my stream of me texting, texting you on the stream. And that's largely because he is just... The, the clip is mad good. I love watching him. And he, and he, ne he has a never-say-die mentality. But heartbroken because it's LAX. Mm. Hanoi 
one of he is a staple to the red what Bulls clip no matter do what i have it saved he is no he oh shit so he has opportunity to check that bad boy out shit's good what do you mean how i got the whole things of peanuts this is the standard size that i buy i go through like one of these a week what's this 35 servings for container depends who you ask all right mojo versus pinoy this is a weird matchup for bison he on one hand bison is um one of those characters who's really really strong on the ground on the other hand this matchup is a little scary i think for him it puts him into his like kind of oh that's dizzy puts him out of his comfort zone like pretty easily boom boom e yeah Mojo came to play. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. So, you already talked about it. Bison's with poor defense versus grapplers. What does that mean that Pinoy needs to do to make Oh, sure too far? Yeah, that didn't even combo, by the way. It was just counter him. This is one of those matchups where, yeah, the jump is a very important mix up. You can't do jump medium medium to beat both jump splash and the regular jump in. A lot of Bison players, I don't think, love this matchup. Mm -hmm. One more for stun. That's plus one, so view reversal. I need a spacio. Oh, that sucks. Command throw kills. That's a meaty setup after a peach as well. Forward medium kick. If it hits on back row, plus five. You get EX peach or Rooney or standing medium punch. Mojo with a good life lead here. Doesn't have to overcommit to anything just yet. To Mojo is just gonna walk back and do crouching medium kick, or I would just raw V trigger. Oh well, that works too. Ex, boom, boom. I like this format a lot. I get to watch Unist, and I get to watch True Fighter, and then I get to watch Tekken. Have they been switching the categories for each game? Says Tekken. But, uh, and they just left it on Tekken. To be fair, I've just left it on Street Fighter. And nobody's got time to change it each fucking game. We're into the match. Go. Thanks. Production heard me. It's a perfect tournament for me. Absolutely. It's the best part about this is that I know all three games, right? So I'm like sick. I get to commentate all three games. Oh, he could have punished that. I texted him Sage M stare and Sage M mouse. Yes, I did. That's a really, really common, very strong bison setup. Roll stun. That's why he backdashed. Yeah. Yeah, resets the stun bar as well. Gives himself another chance. Does have that feature. He's gonna spend he didn't even cancel that. Stuff. He could just EXP it. Oh, he was hella right. That sucks. Each game have its own league? No. It's just, it's a team format. So imagine, I know a lot of people are struggling with this format to figure it out. Imagine if instead of three different games, this was just, you know, Unis 3v3. And the points are per match. You know, imagine that. Now just imagine that there's three different games. That's all it is. It's it's just a team tournament. Just you just play a different game each round. Oh, that was good. That was a view reversal attempt from Mojo, I think. Good challenge. Yeah, you don't get anything off that. That's oh, if he did the neutral in the dash go, the down in the dash go, he would have actually been fine there. Gonna be the rest of it for his v trigger he's only got a la individually have just lost every match that's just what happens wake up just mash crouching cr crouching like kick why did he back that mojo yes that was his game all that meter got to is it a bad time to get into units hell no you should get into units right now Tekken fans hate Street Fighter V so much. They, I mean, they hate everything. I think Tekken chats are actually maybe the worst. It's either Tekken or Dragon Ball that are the worst fighting game chat. I don't know which one it is. It's one of the two. They're so bad. The Tekken chats are both... They're so bad. It's either Tekken or Dragon Ball. The Dragon Ball one is really bad. I think Dragon Ball is maybe the worst. I 
like that. The ACL, the standing roundhouse, the ACL, the meniscus is getting used here. The meniscus. Oh my goodness, he tried 50 to 50-50 X giant swing kills. Frames, oh, but we out of there. Get out of jail free card. But we that was a good EX head stomp, honestly. Oh, did a combo not on time? But I like the spacing. I love it. Pinoy with the lead. Slight lead, though. One missile drop kick, one V reversal could definitely get it back. Everybody in Tekken chat is just high as shit. That's the problem, right? I was looking for a back dash. A no challenge? Eee. They're just smoking a lot of marijuana. Which you would think would make them be, like, chilling, you know? Stay stationary against somebody like Mojo, who's right I'm really impressed that Pinoy is winning this, to be honest. You can almost see the confidence in his play through the movement alone, right? You were saying before, gotta keep moving. And you that was a bait. I think he wanted to bait the wake up super. From Pinoy, just making it so Over. Difficult. Yeah, he's stunned. So, if LA 3 0s somehow, which is not easy, right? Because speed kicks here, you know, he's gonna have to clean up. If he does, then that could be big. Let's see what the chat's like. After a pretty poor oh, it's not so bad. Am I a mod in here? I mean, that's the best way to put it. It's pretty poor. It was poor. No. Nope. I was gonna start shooting people. With the other two teams, we finally got two extra points, and so now Minneapolis <laughs> is tied up with Los Angeles. Only one can get that four points, and then give them even the possibility. So how does this team format work? Into the next day, so on there's group stages. We're currently on group A, as you can see on the screen here. The way this works is that each round, teams play best of three per title. So it goes like this. The way it works is you start and you run the set. The first set's going to be Eunice. Let's say this team wins on the right. Where's my whiteboard? This team wins. Then let's say this team wins Street Fighter. Then let's say this team wins in uh, Eunice. The score down here would be uh, two to one for the team on the right, and they get points based on that. So let's say the team on the right, Chicago, the team on the left, LA in this case, right below me. So down here, this is LA. And this is Chai over here, right? So this would be 2-1 Chicago, and they would get points on the leaderboards that reflect that. So that's it. Where can we view rankings for the team? Well, after every single match, they are going to show the results. As you can see, LA just won the last two matches, so they're at three points. Uh, it's a round robin, so every team in Group A plays against each other. So, <clears throat> if LA wins, they'll tie Seattle and Chicago. If Minneapolis wins, they'll tie Seattle and Chicago. Then, when sh uh, Chicago and, uh, and Seattle play each other, uh, whoever wins that will be first seed in the group. So, it's four teams in each group. There's two groups. See this? These are the two groups. Two will make it out of each group and then play here. So, you'll be in the final. So, it'll be top four playing tomorrow. How do we know who won the round? Well, when we look at the screen, there's a match happening. And somebody wins the match, and they go, yeah! And we're like, okay, that guy won. And the guy was like, that guy lost. It's usually how we can determine who won. How do we know who's playing? Well, when you look on the screen, there's a guy sitting there, and he's like... And the other guy sitting there, and he's like... You can usually tell who's playing by looking at the screen. How do I know where the people are? Well, when you look at the top of the screen, it says Min, and it says Lax. So when you look at the top of the screen, it says Minneapolis and LA, so you can tell what location they're fighting for. How do I know that my chat's a bunch of fucking morons? Well, they don't know how to look at the screen. How do I know the marketing for this event is bad? Well, no one knows the goddamn format, and I have to explain it every five seconds. <laughs> How do you know what the characters are? Well, when you look at the top of the screen, it says that it's Goku versus Soul Bad Guy. <gasps> that was a huge drop. I assume that it's supposed to be some sort of like jump in, jump in but they did it a little bit early. Oh, the ankles, watch it, the ACL, you need those, you need those. For Good duck. Yeah, I think since I've been watching, this is the first time I've seen Speed Kicks play Jin, by the way. 
I saw him play Huarang in the last two sets. So unless he played it in the first set, <clears throat> I haven't seen him play Huarang or uh, Jin so far. Oh, he didn't get the floor break. Yeah, this is a this is an important match because I actually think if one of the matches that comes up is a 3-0, there could actually still be one of these teams qualifying to the uh, end of this. So, <clears throat> if LA wins this year, it's going to be pretty important, I think. Actually, maybe more important for Minneapolis since they've won one of the other matches before this. Yeah, it's funny to listen to Yipes on this game, right? And and Eunice is the same thing. Yipes is like, yes! He is getting oppressed! <laughs> he played Jin versus Zafina? Yeah, that was when he played Shadow, right? Okay, I didn't see that match. I wasn't watching live. So that's why that speed was able to take Your legs. As he would other Damn. Characters. You know, all the classic yipesisms. Absolutely. I know a lot of the OGs from what I saw, like those stages without the walls. So maybe I am incorrect. I've seen people mm -hmm. playing on the OG side. I'm not saying no names. Okay. Down for 1 4 for uh, Geese is like what, minus 13? Now we can break it. Now the Resplat. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, you got plasma? Stop. Yo, I know a game's different when you see plasma and some tech and seven. Uh, I guess he's nerfed, but he's still pretty plasma? good. Let's not even ask that question. He got plasma? Let's not even ask that question. Yes, he has blood. Anybody who's blo who has blood has plasma. He could be an organ donor. My lord, have mercy. This man is traveling across the globe. Jesus, Look at the Google, damage. Google Maps with the carry. Google Maps with the carry? Watch the legs. Oh, he gets a chance though. Speed kicks. Oh, the block! Another time on the hell. You ever heard something, and as soon as you heard it, you thought to yourself, well, I couldn't say that and get away with it. He has no idea what's happening, right? So Yipes is like, all right. Let me let me bring out the classic Yipesisms. Google Maps with the carry. Obviously, his specialty. Obviously, it's Tekken 7. Obviously. Obviously, I mean, good It's pretty good. I gotta give it up. It's pretty good. I'll give it up. I know. I'm not denying it at all. I can't deliver that. Right? I can say a lot of shit. And I can talk a lot of stuff. But I can't say Google Maps with the deliver. Like, if, when I'm commentating Tekken, you know, I'm not like Google Maps with the deliver. I'm like, alright, look at the wall carry. So this isn't too bad for characters like Geese. Obviously, the 2D characters have I'm just gonna eat some peanuts and watch. They just have the ability to throw plasma from far screen, relax, and just play that footsie game. Cause, just you know, enjoying my time. Great range. I mean, great, uh, great combo potential for what I'm seeing. Oh, so Speak like picked open stage, stage against Geese, huh? I guess it's because he was concerned about the wall carry. Unfortunately, I don't actually think it matters that much. Geese is still scary in open stage too. The Google Maps. I want to see more of that. I want to see Speed try to control that space in front of him. Trunky is getting in a little bit too easy. Man, this is a peaceful area for the water not to move. This is actually beautiful. Actually, no, they're stepping on the water, so they can't possibly move. What am I saying? Wow, miss? That sucks. One of the worst feelings in this game, I think, is when you try to wall standing for something as a punish and it just misses. Remember that happened to JCR when he was playing against Lil Maja and Evo? Yeah, saves the rage. Try to take advantage of the plus frames. Try to go for that low crush. He has the rage. Spends it right here for the plus frames. Makes up. Oh, he jumped back. <laughs> that was tight. All right. Okay. Oh yeah, obviously my commentary style is more about knowledge than other stuff. Someone brought up a good example. I was like, oh, he wants to. Uh, this is a great stage for Geese because he can wall carry with uh, what's it called? His dash jabs and stuff like that. And Yipe said, Google Maps with the carry. That's like the difference, right? That's why you usually pair someone like me with someone like Yipes, you know, or Sammy in this case. Nice parry. It's one of the reasons a lot of people like Jin in this matchup before. Punish. Wow, did he even make it in time to punish that? I'm not sure. Hanzo says first Eunice and now Tekken. Which game won't you destroy? 
heals. The Achilles heel has been broken hmm. in half. And good God Baby tag? No, I already destroyed that. Down half. Literally still getting hit. Oh, the punishment. Lord have mercy. Can someone check if his stick is plugged in? It's this over. He's going to activate Max for the mix-up probably. Oh. Wait a minute. Speed kicks is still in there. It doesn't matter because as soon as Geese has a chance. Nice. Okay, maybe it does matter. He just wanted back 3-2 Max to force a mix-up. I think if you're Trungi, you do like down four max or something. Oh, okay. Trungi saves it for his team and gets that fourth point that they two speed kicks. Need in order to give them any sort of chance in qualifying into that next stage. But unfortunately, that means that we got to say LA 0 and 3. Well, actually, they won here, but they're definitely in last. So much excitement. So LA and last, they got smoked, and then uh, it means that Minneapolis or Seattle could tie with, um, the, or, or Chicago, sorry, could tie with Minneapolis. What happens in a ca case of a tie, it probably goes down to head-to-head, -head, I would guess, or game differential, one of the two. So the winner of the Chicago versus um, Minneapolis or whatever it is. What's the next match? Chicago, Seattle. Sorry. The winner of that uh, is the person who's going to make it out of this group and winner. Waxel should have been in there for LA. Playing what? There's no gear this year. There is Human21 who dropped the big Twitch Prime. Thanks very much. And thanks everybody for dropping some subs. I think we got a lot today. Like 1050 something. Is Marduk? Maybe he played in this. I'm not sure. So LA got smoked. Um, Minneapolis just tied, but they're done playing. So if Chicago or Seattle three O's one of each other, Minneapolis has a chance. But they need Chicago or Minneapolis or Seattle to three O one another, one way or the other. If it goes 2-1 either way, then uh, those two are going to qualify. Chicago and Seattle, that's who Minneapolis is going to be rooting for for the rest of the set. Mm, okay, okay. Right on, but that's going to be a good one. You said it's Chicago and Seattle next, right? Chicago, okay. Seattle. Chicago, Seattle play. If it goes 2-1, those that's teams make it. If it goes 3-0-1 team, then I guess technically I Minneapolis has a chance. We're going to go to an interview, huh? Let's go to the analyst uh, couches with Steven Vicious. Take it away, boy. Steven Vicious. Yikes, man. How's it going back What up, man? How's it going, Yipes? You know how it is. It's your boy, Steve. We laughing at everything they both said. That was God. It was amazing because now you see the power of tech and music at this point. It's too good. Actually, hold on. Let me let me put myself in the proper position. You guys' ears up to the level right now. You're not listening to me. But yeah, that last set, uh, that last batch of matches. Yeah, Steve, it was very good. Trying to bring it back. Los Angeles yeah, trying to bring yeah. it back. Uh, are you guys making some noise? Match, but again, uh, what Red Blade and Pinoy were the ones that got the W for their team, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Because yes. that Piaquia switch right from Red Blade yeah. and then Pinoy taking it over. Damn, so over tiny. Over. Maybe I should just sit with Vicious. Steve is taking up so much space over here. I'll sit with Vicious. I think this looks more comfortable over here, you know? I'll just I'll sit with Vicious. What happened? I was just chilling on the couch. I was chilling on the couch. They cut without even telling me. What kind of production is this? Hmm? Now I'm getting comboed. Oh no! I, I'm surprised he went to Biakia. I've seen him play Biak before, but it was weird. The handshake and the point. Yeah, I was on the couch and then all of a sudden I'm cornered by Wagner. Hell. Hell. Starting off really strong in this set, right? Like this was Damn, good. Yeah, the, we both we all could the not dragon, believe. That was sick. Shadow was actually sitting on the couch, and all of us was like, "Yo, man, I can't believe that actually hit." But Pinoy came alive, right? Yeah. Came alive in that second game. Thought it I was stood on ball, Steve's Yeezys by accident in Oakland. He didn't like it. Yeah, uh, I, I do agree. Why would you do such a thing? One time, Steve bought a brand new pair of Yeezys. Maybe the one he's wearing right now. And we had to go from. Uh, Esports Arena to Fourth Street Market. It's about a two minute walk. And we called an Uber because it was raining and Steve didn't want to get his shoes messed up. So we took an Uber down the street. Maybe two blocks. No traffic. I don't blame him. I knew it was going to rain, so I wore my shitty chucks. <clears throat> but Steve clearly didn't look at the weather. That doesn't matter to him. So he was like, We're calling an Uber. So we just $5 Uber down the street to save the shoes. I was like, Yeah, I, I mean, it's fair. It was pouring rain. Like, it was. Not only was it pouring rain, but the streets were like flooded. 
top two, uh, all tied up with Chicago as well as <clears> Seattle. <throat> LA no longer in the running. Yeah, LA got so smoked. Such a strong team uh, going into it on paper, I understand none of the this. Way things played out, they're no all right. Able to even Since you're a stoner, you must play Tekken. Well, I mean, we, uh, we Imagine if this tournament was 3v3 Tekken. Misfortune with Rin. Right? Imagine if it was 3v3 Tekken and they played against each other and every two out of three set was worth one point. Now imagine if instead of Tekken players, they were just other weird game players that you don't know who they are. That's the format. That's it. It's either a 2 1 or a 3 0 on every set because there's three matches total. So it's either 2 1 or 3 0 every time. As you can see here, as I point at the AR on my red hoodie. But let's get into the action. We're going to Yipes and Sammy Fish at the caster desk. Yipes and Sammy Thank Fish at the caster range. desk. Yep. That's as uh, my man Yipes has been really enjoying the the emotion. Sammy, make eye contact uh, with him. Emotional train that I've been going through. You fucking won't. <laughs> How many times have I explained the format? Probably like a hundred. Got one more set on. Group A coming up for you, Chicago versus Seattle. The thing is about right. Twitch, you have to understand that it is a uh, constant rotation of new people like Carter Gray who comes into the stream, you know, and even if I have, like right now, we have 1,200 viewers, right? Uh, in like 30 minutes, if we have 1,200 viewers, like 500 of them will be the same and the rest will be rotating in and out. Does Sammy have beef with the Ives? No. He just wasn't looking at him and it was scaring me. Yeah, it's just a bunch of vagrants wandering in and out of the stream. I just got here. What's the what's that about a rotation of new people? It's a 3v3. And you play Eunice, then you play Street Fighter, then you play Tech. That's it. The man, the myth, the legend. And honestly, uh, what is Yipes doing there on his phone? He's like, yeah, he got some kind of information. Look at is this is a game that where both teams have both won and lost. <laughs> you guys Olympics, see that? They're at four points. So they <laughs> they delivered them some kind of information. Teams, right? They were like, okay, if X or Y team does this, then this happens. If Y or whatever team does this, then this happens. And Yipes is waiting to deliver that information. Here it comes. Watch. Before, so it's like one of those things where like, yeah, they're comes. each other out and getting each other, uh, getting each other points. So if one each, if each team scores one point, Minneapolis is out. Mm -hmm. But Oh, team Sammy team stole the points. That means still has he a stole the talking points. Goes after this one. The first up, as we have done before, under night. Yeah, here, Eunice is always first. Taxi, I have the wrong information. Hey, man, LA wins if both teams fall unconscious. And only Chicago. Okay, and only Chicago. Never mind, Minneapolis is a bunch of Chicago fans right now, and they're going to root for their Midwest boys. Yeah, I think the only... I think because Minneapolis beat Seattle. Is that correct? Oh, my fucking Lord. Uh, yeah, because Minneapolis beat Seattle, or lost to Seattle... Sorry, Minneapolis beats Seattle. So if Chicago 3 0s here, they qualify. That's what happens. If this goes 2 1, either way, like Eunice wins, then Tekken wins on the other side, then Street Fighter, whatever it is, then it's over. But this is where you don't want to be once you are Squish. Get in there. This is, I think, probably pretty tough once uh, this character gets in. Yes, ADP, super. Keep it safe. If it hits, you get the combo. Ouch. I love when Yipes says Shotokan. That makes me happy. He has no idea what kind of character Hilda is because she has played zero of this matchup so far. Good throw break. <laughs> Breaks the grid. It's this is looking horrible. This is looking like a K. Oh. Nobody want to be here. Do it again. Then we do it again. It's like you know what? No matter what game that we play here today, just nobody want to end up in the corner. It's not like you can sidestep like Tekken Seven. So it looks like that's the only game you can actually escape. Nice walk in the overhead. This is like the only chance he's had the whole set so far. She's relaxing on the shadows. Relaxing. Speaking of which, after. Our blocks. I am definitely gonna go get a massage out here. Yeah, yes, turn bar. 
attacking as much damage as he can. Trying to waste time. And he's got CS available, which means Bitatsu CS is probably going to come out or uppercut. Yeah. Run the mix up again. Strip. Nice. The reason you run a veil off there is you strip their grid gauge. Oh, man. That was a little risky. Seven seconds. I would have uppercut right there. It said reversal. I wonder if that's what he did. <gasps> oh, man. He's like, you know what would be sick is if on wake up, I said, fuck you. And I just ran up and did beat toss. Swings all the way from almost the top of the screen down. So if you try to jump said, fuck you, bitch. Who cares if you're trying to run? Yeah, Akatsuki is like mini Shotos in mini games. If you want to win with them, it kind of takes... Jesus Christ. It kind of takes you being an adult and making very scary decisions. Like, I'm just going to dash up and do this. Yeah, try to shield. Gets thrown for it. Grid broken. This round is pretty tough to win. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nice block on the overhead. Wow, you try to parry and then... Oh, no. Yeah, that was good. I think if you don't do that... Squish has a, a chance to take the round. I don't know. Yeah, look, look at that. Look at that idle stance. That's bad vibes are in all over it. First perfect for Royal Heart. Trying to tie it up. Acupunctures. Oh my goodness. What is that? The conjure. We are playing RPG. Mm-hmm. Empty low. Tried to stand shield the mix up. I mean, this is one of those matchups where, like, you would think that most of the matchup would be hill to favor because in neutral, this is what it looks like, right? Like, Squish has just not gotten in. But as soon as this hit happens, obviously someone like Squish is going to carry you to the corner, run some offense. That's going to hit. That's it. The neutral is very hill to favored, and then as soon as she gets hit, obviously, like every matchup she plays, she's just stuck on defense, and it's like, well... Rocking the bare handed Akatsuki. I don't see too many gimmicks behind this match. Not like he's throwing too much laser offense. Obviously, when he gets it going, it's explosive. But man, Hilda throwing stuff on the screen, occupying the neutral a little bit, even on your wake up. That is beautiful. Yeah, this game is very fun. If you haven't tried much uni, I think this is what this tournament's good for, to be honest with you. You notice that in this round, Squish has done a lot more shielding on some of the projectiles and some of the zoning we've seen, and that forced Royal Heart to move in. He felt the need to move up and try something else, and then because of that, Squish now sits in the position we see here. It's important. In a matchup like this, shielding a lot of the zoning is very important so that you can build grid and force Hilda to feel uncomfortable. Yeah, nice run up. You, he just makes a read about that good challenge after the Eitatsu. If you make a read on what her, her setup's going to be with the uh, Gloom, then you can be like, okay, perfect. Whiff punish? No, yeah, it's super. Gets counter hit on the assault. Whoa, that was tight. He has CS available too, which of course he activates post throw break. When you have uh, CS, a lot of people just go for a throw because if they break your throw, they're plus. But if you activate CS, it's like a screen freeze, so you can stop them from taking their turn, right? So, oh, you jumped, uppercut. Oh, you did nothing, hit a button. Oh, you, uh, you know, ran up and tried to hit me with something, right? Like, I can just uppercut or parry or whatever. Damn. Punish. It's one of the big things that she's going to do on defense. Universally in this game, if you have 100 meter, you can wake up Veil off, which you see in the bottom left has been activated. And, uh, yeah, I mean... Unsafe on block. Squish ready for it. Oh, parry. That's a perfect. <gasps> oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. Go back to the old faithful. That's an important win. I think you can probably rely, like, if I'm going to make predictions on this, I think that matchup is Squish favored. I think the next matchup is, like, 50-50, but maybe Samurai favored, maybe. And I think the, the, the last matchup is probably Shadow favored. So I think this means that the way it's going to break down is, like, uh, it's probably not likely that Minneapolis gets in. 
this is a hard matchup for Akatsuki because it's a classic zoner versus sort of uh, right. getting up a close fighter. Akatsuki so. 2A is like the least looking like low average chase them down doing this shit on the ground. Like and so he's going to have to do things like that in order yeah, Byakuya 3C is much, is a big offense. Yeah. Is one of the best that move is sick as fuck. You know, I thought that was a mid if it wasn't fully charged. But I can't believe it's a low. That shit's tight. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. He just like sh like shoots the spines out of his back. That shit's fucked up. Where can I watch this officially? On twitch.tv slash Red Bull. This is what the official channel is right here. Oh, I see Man, you want to watch more uni? It's going to be played all day. We're about to finish Group A. And Group B is going to go right now. What is this? You know what that means is that they are going Steve to tweeted me about a tweet I made three days ago. He replied to a tweet I made three days ago. Illegal stream? No, of course I asked. Illegal Maja stream? Hell yeah. I got the illegal Guatemalan peanuts. Oh yeah, bro. I got the illegal Guatemalan peanuts. Y'all ain't seeing me now. I got snacks. This is different because they finally get to play each other on camera here in the Red Bull Conference. Mm -mm, mm -mm, this is going to be interesting. Let's get it cracked. So, like I was saying before, you know, Narrow Chaos. I actually forgot about that tweet. I should have probably brought it up. Okay. This is a really good match. This is what I like about this tournament. We got to watch this good ass Eunice match. Now we get to watch this good ass Street Fighter match. Samurai versus Dual Kevin. And then after this, we're going to get a good-ass Tekken match. It's like, damn. Samurai Seattle. He's from uh, Central California. Now he lives in NorCal. Uh, but he lost the NorCal qualifier to Nephew. So he went to Seattle and played in the qualifier there. It's two different setups. But, yeah, you're on the right track. They have one setup that's Unis in the beginning. And then after the Unis match is over, they switch it to Tekken. And then the second setup is Street Fighter. Yeah, it's an SFL match. That was really, 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 really safe pressure from Kevin. He didn't want to commit to anything big when uh, he knocked him down. I don't blame him. Mm-hmm. That's perfect. You just get out of the corner. Oh! If he didn't block that second fireball, which it's hard to do, he would have got Eagle Spike on the trade. You can't really throw that many fireballs anymore as Akuma because of the roll kick. At this range, you can't throw a fireball. As soon as you're right here, you can throw it. Yeah. Oh, he tried. It was just EX fireball. Too fast. Is Rashid the Akuma of Street Fighter V? No, I think Akuma is the Akuma of Street Fighter V. It's hard to believe, I think. Samurai just just knew the options was playing that really well. Playing at their ranges right now. Obviously both of these guys are not trying to whip. They're trying to let all they're trying to land all I mean Rashid is a fantastic character. But so is Akuma. Akuma's so good. What makes Akuma a problem character in this? Uh I mean Akuma is like Akuma in every game where he's just extremely well rounded. His ground game is like really, really dominant and good. His fireball is extremely powerful. His V trigger is one of the best in the games for forcing a comeback, uh, particularly with Demon. So if he has meter, he has an uppercut, so he can anti air consistently. He has good plus frames like that. He's just really strong, honestly. Who's the Shaheen of Street Fighter Five? Well, you joke, but probably not Rashid, actually. A character who's like super... Uh, Akuma? <laughs> character who's like super well-rounded and just good at all the basic things. I'd have done the same thing. Fuck it. Who cares about his left-right mix-up? No, not G. G is too reliant on comeback. He's he's too unstable of a character, I think. That would be like maybe Geese or something. Time is ticking. 
You gotta get in soon. Samurai can now just eat throws until this match is over. It's over. Yeah, you can't win now. Even if you got the roll kick there, it's over. There's not enough time. Zeku is the Shaheen? Maybe. Zeku is like a super, super strong character in this version. Really straightforward and powerful, I think. Like, you would think having two stances would make him a very complicated character, but I think the game plan for him is pretty simple. Of course, it all depends on the character and the player. Absolutely. Absolutely. But, I mean, you said it best, though. Samurai is definitely... Nah, Zeku's not that hard. He's pretty simple. Like, I, I know on paper, you're like, well, he has two stances. It must be hard. Like, play young Zeku and do standing medium punch, walk up standing medium punch, slides. Like, he's, he's not that complicated. And then make it into more. Asking Duel Kevin. You, if you just learn how to play young Zeku, you know, you're most of the way there. No, there's a lot of Zeku this year. He's good. Why did Punk say Samurai was a fake Tokido? Because he does the breathing and he does, you know, he does all the Tokidoism. Plays Akuma. He grabs the monitor. <laughs> Yeah, he always adjusts the monitor. He brings portable speakers to every setup. Look at this corner carry, too. No interrupt on the whirlwind shot. That's how you lose against Rashid, I think, is the whirlwind shot in general. You try to interrupt it and you get hit, or you are late on the interruption, you get smoked. Nah, he would have had to use the X Eagle Spike to get 50-50. Once you don't commit to it, you don't get the 50-50. Not gonna kill. <gasps> Come on. You didn't do anything? Okay, well, it worked out. Bruh. Bruh. Uh, Claude, just, you know, dive in there and play. You'll learn Gaia quick. Hit confirm. Yeah, walk back throw. One thing you see people do a lot in this game is walk back to max distance throw range so that they make, they put themselves safe to wake up buttons or throw. He's got full meter too, Samurai. He wins pretty quick here with like two hits. Damn, he should have got smoked for that. Yeah, I'll refresh the stream after this. Well, you die in one hit now to Akuma. Anything. Crush Counter Fierce kills you. Standing Medium Kick kills you. Crouching Medium Kick kills you. That would have killed him. He's going to be a reversal. Yeah, of course. Uppercut and a critical art right there would have killed. Crouching medium kick will kill. That could have been much worse. Oh, he should have died again. EX uppercut. Oh, man. This game's so easy. Throw him. Oh. Nice work. Samurai played that pretty well. I think he did a little too little at the very end. Let's refresh this. It's getting a little choppy. He did a little too little at the end. I think he should have pressed a bit more. And also, Kevin missed his counter hit combo. He did crouching medium punch, counter hit. He went, ah. You can combo into standing medium punch and an eagle spike. He did like standing light kick and an eagle spike. Okay, so what's the score now? First game was won by... Um, what's it called? First game was won by Squish. Second game was won by Samurai. So it's 2 0 Seattle. We do have one more game after this. We do still have to play Tekken 7. Minneapolis can't win now. So the two teams that are going to make it out of the group are these two. If Chicago 3 0 would Minneapolis would qualify. Now, all that matters is seeding. Actually, the seeding is over too, is it right? 
the seeding should be over as well. It should be that Seattle is the first seed out of this uh, group now. So this last match shouldn't matter. This match was important. So Seattle's the first seed. You see the group A matchups as they stand right now. The right side beating out the left for the more times than not. As you see, Seattle. The most amount of points that this team can have is five. So Seattle is the first seed in this uh, group. Coming up for you in just a moment. See, this is what the group mm -hmm. uh, Even if Chicago wins, it doesn't matter. Like right now, as you can see, Chicago take the teams on the other side are the fucked up, too, actually. These teams are all mad good. Breakers. Man, what time so is it? That's what we're gonna see Seattle How long am I going to stream? In place, no I've been streaming for like three hours, and we're like about to finish the first group, and they still have to run the second group. And I didn't even start until 30 minutes into the first group. Am I going to want to stream for seven hours to do the whole thing? We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to, I will tell you, that in like 30, ma 30 minutes, I'm probably going to order food. I'm going to ask my, or the next break, I'll probably ask my roommate if she's hungry, maybe I'll order food. Man, the stream is still choppy. Let me copy this, and I'll open up a new Chrome tab. Hold on. Do I cook? I mean, yeah, but I can't just go cook food while I'm streaming. Not a bad thing, though. No, it's a great thing. It's a... I haven't played it myself, but man, that, that soundtrack is dope. And you need to tell, like, man, it, it's sort of like a, a, a rite of passage. If I'm cooking, then old, you guys are going to miss the stream. Right? I came from this old game. I came from this old Like, imagine if I'm like, all right, let me make they're something for dinner. Just eat here. peanuts. That's how sick this game is. It brought yep. so many people back into this game. Oh, shit, we're starting the match. Hold on, let me get my peanuts off the screen. Once again. Listen, man, and I just want to apologize. I want to apologize to Seattle. I know I said some wild things well. in the studio. I said something about you guys don't got the Seattle Supersonic. Only reason I said that's because I'm upset with you guys as well. I am a big fan of Sean Kemp, one of the most destructive well, dunkers in Team the Seattle's already the number one seed. Maybe on the podcast even. But you know what? Let's focus on this Tekken 7 action. And my goodness, I be seeing Eddie Gordo in his prime, no matter what game I'm seeing, no matter how he's moving to me. He now it's just about whether Shadow wins this or not. This match doesn't matter for seating or standings or anything. The mainstream not on Twitch? Yeah, I'm watching on, on Twitch. Jesus Christ, give him the Johnson and Johnsons. That was too They're under Tekken. They're streaming under Tekken. I'm streaming under Street Fighter, I think. Zafina. Uh huh. Okay. Man spreading. Man spreading here from Eddie Gore. Oh, Jesus Christ. He caught a heart attack mid match. This guy, yeah. No time. Doesn't have time to force the mix up as Shadow takes the first. You don't understand round. how the format work. Is it a rep for per really city well. per Shadow game? There's three players from each region. And one for each game. So there's one Tekken player, one Eunice player, one Street Fighter player. Broski says if Sejam wasn't restreaming this in the SF directory, I would have no idea this is happening. Of course. This character is dangerous. Yeah, that combo is cool. It doesn't spring forward. Make a command, you still have three hours. That's true. Why is the format confusing people? Because it wasn't explained well. Like, before this, Red Bull never were like, hey, everybody, let's talk about the format. The format was unveiled this weekend. And the only time it was explained was on stream. And even before this, a lot of people didn't even know this was happening this weekend. Yeah, Eunice players get the what? There's their games first. Rodeo throw, no kill. Exaggeration station. I thought it was gonna be a DDT, but no, it was an arm bar. It was an arm bar. Wow. Did that get under the mid get up kick? Scarecrow four. Oh my god, put him face down. There's the plug frames. How do you slide up a wall? That is crazy. My goodness, was it that ferocious? I wonder why Shadow picks Zafina. Probably because his what he picks now doesn't really matter that much. His team is guaranteed second out of the group. So there's no point in like whether he wins or not doesn't matter. The shadow, 20 ounce. The 20 ounce. You need to recognize. 
that yeah it doesn't matter whether he wins or loses here for seeding it's the same thing like if he if he wins his team second if he loses his team second it doesn't matter it means they're gonna play the first seed out of the other group Yeah, Shadow's gonna win this, it looks like. Knockout. What is that? Sammy Finn. What style is this? What style is this? This is demon. She's got a demon fighting power. Yipes is like, what the fuck's happening? <laughs> this shit is good. This shit is very good. Oh my goodness! Shadow trying to do his best to get off the wall, but Evie took a lot of damage while he was doing it. <laughs> Sammy's like, all right, let me just do my normal stuff, and Yipes is like, oh my goodness. <laughs> what do you mean, Gordo means fat? <laughs> What he was like, this fucking match is happening, and yeah, I was like, what can I talk about? His name's Eddie. Well, I got nothing. His name's Gordo. Well, that means fat. No, I'm not saying he's wrong. Like, he was just like, hmm, where do I go from here? I love this logic from Yipes. This is the kind of analysis I need. Dancers cannot dance in the rain. <laughs> Got to duck that. Save this set. My goodness, he used his feet as hands. That's crazy. He used his dumbest legs. What? what Two boots will never stop being oh, okay. good commentary to me. Oh, Two boots no. is always the classic. The right Who started Two Boots anyway? Who said it the first time? Was it Steve? Was it Yipes? Oh, my goodness. Steve made up a lot of Marvel 3 shit. The spin Rooney? All right. Sammy brought back a classic of himself. He had to realize. Sanchez and third strikes. Third, you heard it from Rockefeller. Bring back Dirty Snow. There's actually so many Marvel 3-isms that Steve used. It cracks me up. Look at the way Yves is swaying. He's coming in and out. He's like a fighting game character right now. He's on the character select screen. Shit is mad good. Do I have a Yipes soundboard? No, I just need the damn. Damn! That's the best part. Yipes' idol stance is well animated. He's already, you know, I gotta say, of these two, he definitely had very impressive Tekken commentary. He has no he has no idea what's happening, so he's freestyling a hundred percent. So yeah, Seattle cleans up, they win six five. We got a nice uh eye friendly score down here at six five four three. Unfortunately Los Angeles and Minneapolis. We're gonna have to say goodbye to that That was very good. As good as these three smackaroos. Yeah, Yipes is Yipes is fantastic. The thing about this is that he knew his role. Yipes was like, I have no idea what's happening in Eunice. I have no idea what's happening in Tekken. So I'm just going to get hype as fuck. Look at Steve's face. I can tell this Tekken commentary destroyed him. I can tell. I knew it. Yo, the wrist, the elbow. 
I'm so stealing that, but let's go back to the match. Keep the commentary on. Lord Jesus. Give it. I knew it was going to kill Steve. The way Yives is talking about these matches is so good. Yeah, top two move on, bottom two are out. So these two teams made it out of the group. Uh, that means Chicago. Chicago is the first seed. Sorry, um, Seattle is the first seed, Chicago is the second seed. So in the next two groups, whoever makes it out first plays Chicago. Whoever makes it out second plays Seattle. That's the way it works. Uh, Nest Star, they kind of share stuff back and forth. Those two, there's plenty of things that Steve says that Yipes is like, damn, I'm going to use that. And there's plenty of things that Yipes says that Steve's like, damn, I'm going to use that. I think it's back and forth. Yo, man, they were actually trying to kill each other in this set. And you can see the dual cap and pool, no punches. But Samurai, Samurai man, keeping it This is a funny fucking set of commentary, I'll tell you what. Yipes is just, he's just a hero. <laughs> he's like, I have no idea what's happening, so I'm just gonna get hype as fuck. You reach, I teach the wrench classic. You know, Samurai, of course, the classic pop off. Yeah, the man spreading one was pretty good. The thing is, is that I never will have to compete with this, right? I'm never the person that listens to this and is like, man, Yipes is so good. Like, I gotta be like, shit, how am I gonna deal with that? They'll never hire, they'll never hire me as a hype commentator, right? So I never have to deal with Steven Yipes just being this good. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> they just put me with, uh, what's it called? They just put me with one of these two and it's always good. You know how nice that is? I never have to do it. I'm telling you, I've never yeah. seen that move before. I have actually never seen that move before. I feel like that. Eddie didn't either. That's why he got got with it, I honestly. Mean, it's, it's tough because there's there's been very little time to adjust to Safina. Yeah, I feel like that's the case. That shit is mad like good. Played at this yeah. point, but still, uh, just as strong when it comes to the tournament play, especially from somebody... No, I mean, I get exciting when I'm, play, when I'm doing commentary, right? Obviously, shit makes me excited, but... Is that, is that who that is? I'm not the excitement kind of guy. I don't have to do that. Look at Red Blade's face. Man, I'm I'm hiding it, but look at his face. This is the one million yard stare if I have ever seen it. He is staring into another fucking dimension. Holy shit. competitor for Eunice in North America. How do you feel about the games, the positive word of mouth, and it being picked up by Red Bull Conquest? I think this is a good question. Ringe is like, all right, let's not talk about his matches because he got smoked. Let's instead uh, talk about Mr. Rice Patty. You know, the game earlier before, you know, your major would be, you know, you and maybe 50 other people. And, you know, the TLs might not even have the game to, you know, over 100 men. I don't like the way he's grabbing the mic, but I think it's a pretty good answer. It's just... Uh, it's, it's definitely the definition of a uh, Cinderella story. Spinach, I wanted to get your thoughts mainly on the present Eunice scene as well. Present Eunice scene is amazing. I remember when it used to be so small. Eunice came out. And Man, Spinach is really tall. Ringe is like 5'11 like or 6 foot. Like wildfire. Suddenly we're These guys are both tall. We see ourselves at Evo. We see ourselves here right now. Sadly, Red Blade and I are not here anymore. This is a good mic etiquette from Ringe. It's been absolutely amazing. I am very, I'm very proud to be part of the Two university. important skills you see here from Ringe. First of all, he asks a question to Red Blade. Left hand goes to Red Blade. Then he asks a question to Spinach. Right hand goes over here. Never interview across your body. See that? First of all. Second thing, even when Red Blade grabs the mic, see the arm switch right there? Second thing is even when Red Blade grabbed the mic, he didn't let go. Don't let go of the mic. That's your mic. As soon as it's gone, you'll never get it again. Who knows what he could do with it? He could grab the mic and be like, hey, fuck Red Bull. Fuck you guys. I hate you guys. Just start saying crazy shit. You don't want that to happen. You got to be able to snatch it away at any time, you know? I did get the chance to play the game. This is why this is proper interview etiquette. Notice the mic switch. I'm going to master some new movements on character select. Look forward to that. See that? All right, that's what I like to hear, baby. The Teaching you guys how to interview as we speak. I say. You can't lose there either. So thank you both, Red Blade and Thank Spanish. you both. Obviously, again, their lives are over Let's here. throw it back. Red Bull Conquest Finals, but their Eunice lives will go on and shine brightly, I'm sure. But for now, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back here on Twitch.tv slash Red Bull. Very nicely done. All right, we got a break. Five-minute break. Then we're going to come back with group two. Uh, group B. So we already know who made it out of group A. I am going to go take these peanuts back to the kitchen. Get some water. So let me run a quick ad. 
and uh, figure out what the plan is for food later, all right?